HBCUs are more than a band, more than a Greek life, more than education. HBCUs are a place to become. A legacy with a heritage more than 180 years, producing some of the top politicians, athletes, entertainers, teachers, and individuals. Xfinity understands and celebrates all this with a, with a collection of TV shows, movies, documentaries, and music that captures the HBCU experience. Understand this. Just say HBCU into your Xfinity voice remote, remote sorry, and learn more all about the HBCU experience. Experience. Trust me when I tell you I'm a Howard University graduate. You will never have the time of your life like I did at Howard University. Shout out to Xfinity for putting this together and having this beautiful, beautiful activation celebrating HBCUs. That's right. Learn about the sacrifices students made during the civil rights movement. Be inspired by biographies and educators who went above and beyond Kick back to the sounds of the band of the sound or the sounds of the yard with the HBCU playlist. <laughs> Best of all, it's all included with your Xfinity service right. from the yard to the end zone. Right. All right. So the classroom to the frat house, you know what I'm saying? So Xfinity has the HBCU experience covered. Xfinity, it's the ultimate in black storytelling. Restrictions apply, not available in all areas, requires Xfinity TV and on-demand. Separate charges apply to on-demand and certain streaming services. Shout out to HU. Yes, sir. Yo, when you wake up with an irresistible urge for a McDonald's breakfast sandwich, tiptoe out the house and make sure you don't wake nobody up. Why, Lo? Because I don't like sharing. Exactly. I and don't on top of to that, share. Now you got to buy three extra sandwiches. But <laughs> to do that, make sure you're using the mobile app for McDonald's. Make sure you download the app, uh, mobile order, and pay at participating McDonald's. Download and registration required. Ba da ba ba ba. Let's start. I'm the show. loving it. <laughs> <laughs> A wise man once said only two people oh, wear God. sunglasses indoors. Assholes and blind people. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I mean, well, blind people don't have a like choice. You're blind and you are an asshole, so I guess you've... Ah, all right, well, well, thank you. Two for two. Appreciate that. Two that is true. Two. That is true. I, I struck both of those boxes, so I appreciate You don't that. look too bad today, though. You match. Listen, I, I don't... I understand the shtick, Lo. Well, I get it. It's, we've been we've been running the show for about a year. We know the, the Cavs can't dress thing is... Okay. Gonna continue. All right. Oh. But I'm like, this is pretty normal. Like, this is a, pretty basic. I, this is a very basic outfit. I didn't say I didn't say today. I just said overall. Yeah. Don't, but, don't, yeah. All I mean, right, I, let feel it go. Like, I feel no, like no, no, don't don't get I sensitive to like, it now because every time you damn you, yeah, your kicks know. is old. All right, we know that's gonna be nah, a stick. No, listen, that, deal with it. I know your stick. Deal with it. Fitted deal with it. T crisp ones. That is the low <laughs> like if low key was a, a Nicktoons character. <laughs> you knew exactly what the calendar, I mean, the closet will look like. Absolutely. Right. So what's Me, you just never know. That's true. Yeah, you and that's know. not always good. I'm cool with that. Oh, right, like okay. With that. Well, this, is, this isn't giving yeah, you autumn. The, I'm, not, I'm not giving autumn right now. It's why not. You, it's, <laughs> why'd you have to pose like that? I don't know how why. I don't how else do you pose in a chair like this? You know, I don't know it, what it's giving. It's me. not giving uh, foliage? It's not giving me much. <laughs> foliage? It's the brown for me. <laughs> it's it's uh, the brown for I don't know. Like, if, maybe if you had Tim's on. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. That's, that's I hate dressing for fall. So I got to be a stereotype of wearing Tim's for No, I just those sneakers just don't. He's Bro, that's, that's a solid. I feel, like I, solid I feel like I just I feel like I just created my my player. It's a solid. <laughs> this is a very my player T-shirt. <laughs> like the jeans and the T-shirt. 
are cool, but no it's just like yeah. the sneakers. And the first thing I bought were the shoes. That's what he wears oh, on TV. Right. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know the sneakers. It's like, it's like, uh, no, I get it. Like at the top, he's trying, he's trying. But the trying pants and the shirt are, are he solid. He had to keep it cas and colorful. With yeah, the yeah, but the sneakers. You got to have I some sort of expression. I I the top is overall 60, 66. Oh. The bottom's like overall 86. <laughs> like, yeah, those, those you know? just ain't it. <laughs> it's, gi- it's giving one. I like one. those. I have them. No, I like those, but I don't like that with the outfit that he has. The pink lace. <laughs> you can't yeah, win. You know that, right? I know I can't win, but I just said I like this outfit. Without the really? Without this, I, the, the blue jeans with the brown Everybody. shirt. <laughs> but you fucked it up with those sneakers. We have. So now we have a bad come outfit. Through a break. We've had a break. No, we almost had a good outfit. After 113 you, episodes, low. So you wore them bright ass sneakers with that beautiful sneak- brown <laughs> autumn outfit. You fucked it up <laughs> once again. Brown autumn. He likes your outfit you like outside it up of once the again. shirt. You got the, the beads, the gold chain. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's just the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. First off, you had a coordinator. I know you see that. Accents, you see the accents on the brown, you see the material. I know that's not you see the material, though, huh? I know he's not comfortable. I'm wild comfortable. No, I can say like this. No way, you're comfortable. I'd be doing that. I can say like this with the the sunglasses on to look doubly comfortable. That's what I'm doing today. I'm. I mean, jeans aren't leggings, so I know that. <laughs> that you're not comfortable. No. I'm he said I am extremely comfortable. What's we'll happening, people? I'm trying to prove a point. Well, <laughs> be uncomfortable for an hour and a half. It's Listen. like gonna be crap. Right. I'm, 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 re- I'm been reading up on Sunni because he gets up. I've been reading up on TB12. <laughs> I'm trying to get my flexibility right. I'm yes, trying sir. to drink some more avocado and celery water. Ah. You know what I mean? Is, okay, no, yeah, I'm not, I don't know if it exists, but I'm sure that's sponsored. What he drinks. What's popping, people? Welcome back to Say Less. I don't know where he got that from. With Kaz, Loki, Rosie, Jake, and in Full House today. Good to see you guys. My name is Kaz. It's Low Key right here from Howard University. Hip Hop Army Throwback. Apple Music Hits. Every day, 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Rosie, what's cracking, homie? <laughs> it's just Rosie. It is just effing Rosie. Jake! <laughs> What up, bro? Hey, Cass. How we doing? I've, I'm loving your energy right now. <laughs> That's a, energy. That is where it is. Brother Eden. Good afternoon, Cass. Take those sunglasses off. Thank you. I was I was trying uh, to I was trying to take a take it for a ride, take it for a test drive. Yeah, no, don't <laughs> let's, hey, if, get, let's get out. Is this not? Let's get out. This ain't let's get out the car. It's very bright in here. It is so bright. it's not terribly asshole. Cass, it's 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 literally <laughs> the same lighting every week. Eh, but still. It, Right. He's like, that's why it's that's bright. That's exactly why. Like, that's you why. Know, but also, like, like, no, you so gotta for take 113 them off. episodes, you now you decide, you know what? Let me change the. No, nigga, take them off. We see these. These are called worry lines, bro. Trying to lose them, okay? I don't see them. Trying to do it right. You what see? What have to do with the sunglasses? It has nothing to do with the because sunglasses. Because when you nothing. look into bright things, you know what happens? You're, that's exactly. I'm doing that just as, because you said it, so I'm trying it. Yeah, this is the worry line. I haven't done it since I got here. I got plenty of them. Ah, fuck you Thank guys. you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I really cool. wanted to do the sunglasses indoors, but I was uh, peer just, pressured out of you're it. You're a jerk. The fact that you wanted to look like an asshole. <laughs> wow. Because if I would have did it, then niggas would have rung me a new asshole. No, I wouldn't. This motherfucker. No, first of all, y'all, y'all I know you wouldn't do it. Yeah, because I'm not a pretentious dickhead. Wow. wow. I'm not that saying that you are. Dickhead. You're half that. Well, wow. Wow. Well, yeah, you, you would know. Well, that's true. <laughs> That's true. Bro, we're starting well, off hot today. I'm so this glad. Is... Yo, we are in a great mood today. So yeah, what is to... going on? <laughs> Who pissing you guys' cereal? I feel great. This morning. I didn't we're say nothing. Hey, man, because he's tired. Now he's a little grumpy, you know, grumpy little <laughs> white boy. <laughs> He <laughs> came here. Grumpy little white boy came in here on Ted hey, today. The comments I'm coming. tired. All right, motherfucker. We all tired. I'm, oh, tired. Man. I'm actually I'm not, not tired. I'm not I don't know why grumpy, grumpy little white boy was so <laughs> funny. It is funny. But not grumpy. Y'all just mean people. Tired. We're not gonna be mean today. We're gonna be we're gonna be happy. We're gonna be joyous. We're gonna give our flowers to each other, sort of like Drake and J. Cole wow. this past weekend. You see, we call that a segue. segue yeah. That's a hell of a segue. Um, last night, well, I guess Friday night was taping Saturday morning right now in uh, New York City. Um, I didn't first of all, time out before we even get into that. I didn't realize like Arena Tours was back. Yeah. Right? Like it wasn't Where'd just I mean, I'm not I've been seeing the concerts and the festivals and all that type of stuff, but it was just and like, you know, I've been to like nah, nigga, sporting like, events and all that. Uh, which um Dirk and, and uh Lil yeah, Baby. I saw the Dirk and Baby on the show on right now. But this was this is really cool, especially in the context of uh Cole's freestyle that he dropped yeah. earlier this week. So let's let's play this real quick. Eden, go ahead. This is Drake in Miami. I don't always want to have like a hard 
Very light skin moment. That is true. They are very emotional when they're around each other. You were saying in the freestyle about, you know, they handed you the bronze and whatever, whatever. I just want you to understand something. You are genuinely, without a doubt, one of the greatest rappers to ever touch a Yeah, that's true. That was nice. That was nice. I'm lying. And I want to let you know, it's way too many people in the world that think and know that J. Cole is at the top on the pole position. So that's true. I love you. I love you. I love it. That's real shit. Yeah. I love it. My blog era 2010's heart soared and grew four times its size watching that. <laughs> you know, hopefully it's not hypertension, so but just <laughs> that was a very sweet moment, man. Like you don't get a lot of that, especially with two folks in their prime, you know what I mean? They act like two legends I'm can't a, coexist. I'm a, yeah, I'm a, that's you know? a moment. I'm a, yeah, I, I had a feeling he wouldn't like it because Lil' hate no, stuff. But Rosie, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that was a nice... No, I loved it. The only thing that bothered me was, and this is random, uh, three years ago, the same weekend is when Drake canceled his Miami dates. And I had went to Miami for that tour. Okay, why'd they cancel it? Remember he was sick? He wasn't feeling well? That was that tour uh-huh. that he was just going like, what, back to what back to back to do because it was the same air, arena and everything and I was like hmm interesting Drake Damn, so that was just it was the same weekend it was just a humble my memories. PTSD? yes I was, I was like excited but I was like oh but you made this show I mean I'm, mind you I'm fast forward it was just, years later I'm, I know I was holding a grudge I was holding a you don't gotta you don't gotta yank nobody's chain to get down to Miami <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, you're kicking off a tour in Miami. I'm sure you got, you know, you know those those conversations I have with folks like, hey, well, I mean, pull he was up already and down there. Too. Up. Yeah, like, hey, I'm sure you're over there. But he was I say all that to say. No, that was. I say all that to say. Moment. Very, very sweet moment. Very light skin moment. And I, I appreciate. No, I mean, it's good. It, it's good to see. It's, it's nice. It's it's beautiful. It's 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 fun. It's heartwarming. It's all the things that you would want to see. Right. MCs of that stature. Right. Appreciate each other and, um, you know, just lay it on the line and be like, hey, man, you're one of my favorites. And obviously, we it's know. actually what we've been asking for. We've been saying more of like give people their flowers while they're here. Right. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah, I mean, that, but that's just we, we know, but we already know how they feel about each other. So this this moment doesn't surprise me mm-hmm. um, <laughs> how they feel about each other. No, we know we know they, we know they love each other back and forth. We know how much they appreciate and respect each other. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess that goes into to this. Yeah. So it, this this comes off the heel. J. Cole dropped the uh, freestyle over. Pipe down. Pipe down. Was it pipe down or? or pipe down. The, okay, dropped the pipe down freestyle uh, called Heaven ZP. And uh, in, the, in the freestyle, he's basically saying, you know, um, oh, some people say I'm running third. They threw that bronze at me behind Drake and Dot. Yeah, them niggas are superstars to me. I feel like we have these conversations a lot, right? Especially like the current era of artists, like the Coles, the Kendricks, the Drakes, the, you know, whoever you want to put in that fourth spot. I feel like that that fourth spot kind of rotates a lot. But those those three are pretty solidified, right? Right. Um, in no particular order, because everyone's order is going to be different. Uh, uh, yeah, depending on the time of day of the week. You know what I mean? I might put Kendrick at first, depending on day of the yeah, year. Yeah, depending on how I'm feeling. <laughs> I might put Drake number one. Right, like, right, right. if it's autumn, you know what I mean? Cole might got it. Like, I feel like... Um, I feel like Drake is uh, really at a time, especially as an artist, where he's kind of in this unprecedented, unprecedented, like rare air of being like still being popular after all these years, right? Thirteen years, still kind of like being able to look back and you know acknowledge his his run. And I think this year was like the six year anniversary of Nothing Was the Same, and like all this other stuff. So it's weird seeing like. No, wait. Eight years. Eight years? Yeah, eight, eight years. Okay. Eight years. So it was the eight year anniversary of nothing the same. This happened. Cole drops his freestyle. You know, um, Certified Lover Boy is a few weeks old. And, you know, he still got it. One thing that's, that's, I've, that I was really thinking about for a while, though, is like, how come they stopped making music together? You know what I mean? Like, it felt like when they all kind of came out around that same time. Was whether it's 09, 2010, um, you know, those blog era type artists. See that, okay, just, okay, see now that question. Cole went into his whole I'm going platinum with no features thing. That question 
brings me back to the moment of them on stage. Right. When you say, like, how come they haven't done music together and Drake reveals it, like, yeah, you're one of my favorite rappers or you're one of the greatest rappers, so why not? If you're if you're, if you're putting all that on the table and you're acknowledging that you know publicly and you think I'll be case, a seed planted, like I don't. But it's if, just if like they've been like yo, they've been around each other for so long. They've been you know competing for so long. And if you have this much respect for that, yeah, that artist, yeah, that uh, that question lingers in my head. Why haven't I would I would have rather seen like Drake do a what a time to be alive with Cole than Future. No, that'd be boring as shit. It'll be boring as shit too. Well, to me, you, yeah, I mean, to me, you think it'd be boring? I mean, I love all the time to be alive. I don't alive, think it would have been had it because that wouldn't have been the same. Future impact. brings a different energy. Future yeah. does bring a different energy. Drake and Future's energy is completely. Well, we don't even know what Cole and, and Drake's energy, right? So we can't. But really I like Joe to see Can I hit it in the morning? I like in the morning. You know, yeah, what I mean? I don't, I don't be want, a very tender I album. I don't want. I don't, I don't, I don't it want fifteen. Been the most light skin. Yeah, album. I don't want fifteen records of that. <laughs> we already you got that. We already got ever. that shit from him solo wise. I'll take eight. I, I don't want to double down on I'll it. Take a, I'll take a slim eight. A like, slim eight. <laughs> a slim eight. I don't want to hear about washing clothes and, and losing your girl. I would. At the same I think, time. I think a lot of the criticism, I need to separate that shit. But, but that's the thing, though. I think that a lot a lot of the criticisms that Drake and Cole each get both complement each other, right? Like, a lot of folks feel like Drake hasn't really grown up, like, really, like, you know, evolved and matured his content. People say J. Cole's boring. You can't play him in no parties, like, play him in no clubs or whatever. If, if you got eight of those songs together, get them both together in the studio, that kind of no, it doesn't, it doesn't, answers it doesn't offset, both things, it doesn't, doesn't it? Offset it? No, no, it doubles down on it. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't bring. It that. doesn't enhance it. It doesn't like they don't cancel each other out. You I, might like that. I personally would love to hear Drake. Do, I mean, clearly, I don't want to hear it in the club, but I would be interested if Drake dropped like a fold and close type record. Like, I want to hear about Dad Drake. And like the parent Drake, I don't got a, I don't got a party to it. I don't got to listen to it a million times, and I'm sure it won't affect the streaming numbers or anything like that. But I think I think it would just be interesting. It would be interesting well, to well, hear this that. This is what I of. said about CLB. I said this earlier. I said there is no evolution. I said the topics are redundant. I said this when, we, when I was talking to Ebro. I'm like, yo, I would I would like to hear more about the right. father aspect, but I don't want to hear it on a joint project. I wanted but to hear no, it. On, but, I wanted to hear it on this. But my thing is, I say that. The reason why I say that is nobody ever says that about J. Cole, right? J. Cole is always evolving, always talking about different stuff. Like, I don't think he has a lot of songs that sound like or talk about the same stuff. Like, right. you know, For Your Eyes Only, very different album than 2014 Forest Hill Drive. Forest Hill Drive, very different album than Born Center. Right. Very different album than, you know, um, for your uh, what was the the last one? Um, for your eyes on off season, the off season, off season. Yeah, right. um, and the one with uh, Kevin Tart, the uh, the other joint. Like they're all very different albums, right? And they all t come from very different spaces because I think what Cole benefits from Drake that Drake doesn't do is that Cole just goes away for a little bit, right? I, I always <laughs> say this. Like, I'm like Drake, Drake don't take Drake, no breaks. Drake don't Drake take no breaks. Like he bro. don't even want that artist to sit down. But we I wish that. he would. That's what no, I'm saying. He didn't even like. Even when his whole kid was born, like, yo, if he would have disappeared for a few months. Everybody would have understood. That's it. And that would have been dope. And came back and they were like, yes, he's back. But it's like, he does not go in. Yeah. He not, like, that, I think that's the one thing missing from his life. No, there's a lot. Of like, when he does go away, we're going to all be there's concerned. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's, he's going to go away. He's like, been is he okay? So, he's been so ubiquitous for the past, like, 12 years. No, like, when he goes away, we'll, we'll finally be like, finally, motherfucker. Like, nah. it's not, not going to be like, is he okay? It's like, no, this like, nigga needs a break. Okay? I don't think so. This nigga I needs think, a break. I think he it's needs not, a break. I'm not going to be wondering where he is and if he's all right. Because that nigga's fine. Yeah, no. I'm not saying like, it. is he gonna I, be all right? Be like, no, I'm, okay? not, I'm like, no, I know the nigga's fine. Nigga been running, the, pretty much running the game for what, 10, 11 years? 12 years now, yeah. Yeah, so. sit your ass down. Yeah, I would, I would love- Go I would, enjoy life. I would love for him to just kind of- I don't want to hear the accents Damn, and the Drake. freestyles and the, the bro, <laughs> sit no, there's down. A, there's a Damn, part of, Drake. There's a part of me that appreciates <laughs> like somebody who can be that consistent that long, obviously, but- Yeah, just, but it dilutes, it, it dilutes the material when you're just, kind of, yeah, when you're just creatively. constantly running. Yeah. And it's just like, bro, like you're giving us the same shit just in different accents and over different beats. It's like, all right, <laughs> we get it. Different accents. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. Yo, <laughs> Sit down and come back and, and yeah. tell us about For something. For those that, who think Drake can't do it, nothing bro. new, he will pick up a new accent yeah. next that's week. That's the thing Drake with him. do is pick up an accent. And it'll give us fresh <laughs> Drake content, and I think that'll be dope. Don't I think that'll be dope. Um, that being said, uh, on on the flip side, 
Uh, God, what was I going to say? On the flip side of that, hearing Cole on some like party records. No, my fault. Not That's not what I wanted to say. Even though I wish Drake Orlando. would go away for a while, mm-hmm. I got to be honest, bro. And sis. I'm CLB Records is really growing on me. <laughs> I'm CLB Records is really yes, growing sir. on me. Yo, listen. I didn't I know you in the in the stumble in every week. Which one of them records is going it's up the still, most? It's still way too sexy, but friends in the industry. And friends in the like industry. Oh, been uh, that record with yeah. I know, but I'm saying they're growing. No, I like that record instantly. As soon as I heard it, I'm like, this yeah. is tough. But like that, there's like a there's like a run in that album from No Friends in the Industry to Knife Talk to 12 a.m. in Bridal Path, whatever it's called. That if you're on a treadmill where that shit's playing, <laughs> I haven't just, picked up any new records. My brothers be my brothers and niggas <laughs> in the I haven't, I haven't picked up any new records from that album aside from the ones that I like when it initially dropped. Everything is still. But you, at, do you think same. it is? It will grow on you? No. Some of them? Race My Mind? No. Grow fair, on fair Trade? No. Fair Trade? Mm-hmm. Grow I've, 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 fair had trade record, on I, I've had that record for a minute. Yeah. But Race Sorry My Mind, I think I think when we were talking about the album a few weeks ago, I, I think Race My Mind was one of the records I said, oh, I'm good with it. Yeah. But I heard that shit driving over here today. Everything, the more you listen to things, the, the differently, it hits you different. <laughs> when you're driving. Me. I just... I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's That's my sh- I don't know. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Woo! Boy, you gotta let, uh, you gotta get some wind in your beard, bro. You gotta let that wind hit you when it's playing. What? Let the wind hit you in the hair, bro. He's saying he had all his windows down. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Let that With the good weather. Cool. All right. You go on, boy, you more on your light skin shit than I am. Damn. Listen, I'll be it. I'll be that. Champagne poetry. <laughs> wind hitting your hair. Champagne poetry? Where does that where does that where does that listed in, in the, the Drake, Drake intro collective? I didn't think it was that. I mean, I thought it was cool, but like I've I, there's better Drake intros. Yeah, there's plenty. But um, I think there's like a weird cheat that rappers do when they want to act like their intro is about to hit super hard and they just switch the beat for no reason. No, right. Drake does that. Does <laughs> a that lot of rappers do time. that. Drake it's like, that. oh, you really about to go in now? Oh, so I've never did that. Yeah. I've done that. No, he's no, he hasn't. I've never switched the beat on the intro. Name one. Wait. Gosh, exactly. Is God no? There's definitely one. Tell um, me. fucking uh, take the clothes on my back with Justin Timberlake, man, Carlo Lurel. That wasn't an intro. Blue told me remind you that was definitely an intro. That was an intro intro like that. Let's look at it. Pull up the track list. I'm almost positive Magna that Carter, record. Holy Grail. <laughs> I'm almost positive that was a no. But the see, first like, song no, okay, so I is I, Holy Grail. There you go. Right, but that's <laughs> not that's not the same thing that Drake does. That's an intro to the song. Without him rapping, like it Drake will it do was, that. Yeah, it wasn't a. Beat it was a switch. build up. Mm, yeah, mm, it was a build up. Mm. So that, that's what I'm saying. Hov never does that. Yeah. If anything, it's a build up. <sighs> Drake does that shit a lot, or pretty much on every intro. Well, he didn't. Well, he okay. He's he done that Tuscan on uh, Tuscan Leather. Mm-hmm. This one. This one. Did it on this one. He didn't do it on uh, over, over my, dead, my dead, dead body. No, nope. nah, yeah, that was didn't do it on. Uh, What's what? the one? I don't have a problem with Drake when I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I like it. it. Oh, listen, oh, I'm not saying again. Uh, keep the family fine. close. We've sp- huh? we've spoken keep about this. Close. Keep the family close. Yeah, he didn't do it. No, there. he didn't do it on that one. That that stayed. This- you like you. That was viewed. <laughs> that was viewed. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. Baby like you. Uh, yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't change the beat on that one. Did not know the words to that record. If you uh. But yeah, no, I'm not saying it's a bad so thing. It's only like three times. Nah, Drake is Drake is hella good at that formula. Yeah, is I'm this, just noticing it, it. and when the, you notice it, you start the worst to uh, intro. It though. What the worst? The worst intro. Do you think it's the worst oh, the, intro? Oh, no, I'm asking you from Drake's. What is uh, Dark Lane demo tapes? What was that intro? <laughs> oh, I like the intro on Dark Lane demo tapes. That was uh, uh Deep Pockets. Yeah, Deep Pockets. Deep Pockets was dope. That's um, a very forgettable project. Well. Yeah, there yeah. were throwaways. Yeah. <laughs> like, there were demo very, tapes. No, nigga, there weren't no throwaways. He shot videos from shit, so I mean, there, so there were throwaways. What's, what's, what's shooting that's a video a, in 2020? You get nigga, some that's iPhone? not a, throw, a throwaway? I'm not it's shooting a video for a throwaway project, my nigga. Oh, not if you're demo Drake, tapes. They're definitely. <laughs> they're yeah, I'm not wasting my time on, on shooting a video for like a. Nah, Why hell, not? No, I'm not. What's a, what's a music video in 2020, bro? You don't got to get no budget. You don't got to get uh, a whole bro, set. Bro, that's time and, uh, and that's effort. That's it's really not. It, it really is. Have no, you shot that, a music video? No, nah, bro. I've seen <laughs> many videos be made. Very All right. Quickly. And does that, is, this, is that easy? Do you know how music videos used to be made? I'm asking you, is making a music video easy? Yeah, 
<laughs> it actually is. Oh, sure. It's way I'm it's way easier now. Yeah, I didn't know. I no, that video know, that J Cole just crew, dropped, traveling, right in the you know, uh, video J Cole dropped, and the video there was a couple videos off the off season that they literally uh, shot on iPhone. I forgot what it was called. And they just like they had some they had some you know it was quarantine I would time. Expect that from Cole. Well, there was held. nobody. Yeah, the yeah. little handheld just walking around. Well, I would expect that from Cole. Cole, but that I person. also heard that it. It's easier to get like you don't need permits when it's like yeah. iPhones and handheld. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, Drake and them they were not they were using permits and official cameras. If you're not setting, sticks, I mean, Chicago going yeah. to sets and like doing that type of shit. Chicago so freestyle like, seemed like the same sort of. Let's just get some iPhones and nah, just, my nigga. They were different. They were moving around. Like the reason why I think the the cold shit happened because they were in Vegas and they were just shooting like there was like a one set scene or whatever. Mm. The Drake shit they was in Marcy. They was on a bridge, they was in a hotel. Yeah. They were all over the place. And that doesn't seem like that was an iPhone shot video. So my point is, those weren't throwaway records. Right. If you're gonna do they all that. They were definitely that. throwaway records. <laughs> all right. They were definitely, they, they were called Dark Lane demo tapes. Like, a half of that album leaked to the internet, you know, for months before it came out. Like, it, he's record. not, he didn't, did he, treat, he didn't treat it like a studio album. He didn't have a rollout for it. Just, here, take it. Yeah. I'm just saying, you shoot, like, you like shoot, shoot videos for it, then it's like, all right, I, I think you're trying to do something with it. He's probably bored. I guess. <laughs> Speaking of which, J. Cole went back to playing basketball with Orlando Magic this week. Uh, J. Cole and Cole Anthony in this picture right here. Um, <laughs> they look like brothers. They do. They do look, <laughs> like, they do look like kin. <laughs> but, all right. <laughs> Say it, guys. <laughs> what happened? Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it like guys. a J. Cole, baby J. Cole. I don't want to. Uh, listen. Like Say it, guys. Everybody who listens to this show knows Rock with Dreamville, Rock with J. Cole. Mm. If you're an Orlando Magic fan <laughs> and your team's getting ready to play their season, and you see J. Cole get. <laughs> I'll tell you this much. If a picture like Benny the Butcher came out working out with the Knicks, <laughs> well, that's, that's, I'd be like, that's, yo, that's, what are y'all doing? That's, 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 way, that's way, way I'm different. I'm saying if I'm a Knicks different. fan, like if I'm no, a Magic no, no, fan. No. Benny the Butcher, I'm no, sure. No, that's not, that's not the thing. Don't, don't, do like, don't do that. That's like, not the thing. Like, don't do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's no way to say it. Don't do that. I'm happy he's getting his dreams Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does Benny the Butcher play ball? Does he hoop? No, he doesn't. Can you pick an artist that hoop? That's what I'm saying. Pick an artist that hoop. If Dave V showed up to the Knicks, Okay. Yeah. Davey yeah. showed up to Knicks practice. Oh, like God, yo, Cole has professional I, I experience. I like, yo, Leon Rose, we got to talk. <laughs> like, what are we doing? You Cole mad? has professional experience. But, yeah. Bro, bro. bro. It is not the bro. What are we, bro? Like, what, what are, are we, you talking what are we, about? Like, listen. Davey's saying, wait, did, did Davey even play college basketball? No. Yeah, he did. Wait, yeah, he, did. Yeah, he, did. he played in Baltimore. Yeah, he did. This nigga went to yo, he played in that. In Professional the, experiences. Don't like, do that. Don't, no. He, don't, yo, don't do that. using that for every one. Don't do that. Right I mean, at this point. <laughs> nigga, have you made it Could you be bad at anything the Knicks do? All right. Like, it's not losing it loosely. I watch <laughs> these games, bro. You guys need to get experimental. J. Cole was probably, well, every time J. Cole was on that. the floor, he was not the best player on the floor. He was always, almost always the 10th best player on the floor. Okay, because he's not He got on the them. floor, more power to him, but it's just like, this new Orlando Magic, <laughs> like, this is the oh, NBA. Don't do, don't do that, don't do that. Get your run in, I ain't mad, like, go. So like, if he would've been, what, what, what is that doing to the Magic that, nothing. He's, that he's running with them? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, so, yeah, so if they have I'm a bad saying, season, you're going to reserve back to this? Yes. yes. You, yeah, know, you, know, you know how NBA Twitter yeah. works, bro? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. The, the minute Wait. the Magic have a bad fuck. game, this is gonna be the, the minute giant. the Magic have a bad game. See, because y'all had J. Cole working out with y'all. This is why y'all lose. That sounds so dumb, bro. The minute Jalen Suggs has a bad game, they'll be like, damn, J. Cole warm enough to take it. You saw how they never let go of the yacht picture? Bro, we still talk about the yacht picture. Yeah, we still got four championships. How many do the Magic have? Thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, God, so if J. Cole tomorrow was working out <laughs> with the Knicks. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, no, bad, you be, no, 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 you wouldn't. No, you be hype I'm, as fuck. No, shut no, up. I wouldn't. If he be shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no, how you talking about? You be hype as I fuck. Know, I, mean, I literally just said like, yo, if that's my, like, I prefaced it with saying like, yo, I love J. Cole. I'm a J. Cole fan. Fuck with Dreamville. Fuck with he Eve, has professional obviously. experience, bro. That's I'm why. not speaking on behalf of J. Cole, the basketball player. I'm speaking on behalf of like, yo, if I'm a fan a of fan. that basketball team. I know You're speaking this is on come behalf back. of J. Cole, the basketball player. Like, no, why is he on the I'm court? I'm saying this. I know this picture is going to come and bite me in the ass when I'm getting cooked, like, early in the season. Like, what are, people, say, what are people saying about it? Like, how, no, how no, did they, no, are people reacting yet, to it? He's saying, saying now. He's bro. saying the minute are No, I'm just saying because losing. of your initial reaction. I mean, the first I comment is honestly, that is just <laughs> huh? from Delano Banton Stan. What'd they say? 
Honestly, that is just sad. What on the off season? Again, off season. The NBA players are playing pickup ball with more than likely a friend of them. Don't see anything wrong here. Just haters from outside looking at envious of others. Which again, I which I preface. This is fine. I get it, and I'm okay with it. Obviously, it's super dope. I'm just saying, if I'm a fan of that team, I know this picture is gonna come and bite me in the ass later in the season, like one thousand percent. Like that is I, going I, I, to. I, they said, they Cole, Jermaine, Cole. I think y'all lending. I think y'all lending too much to it. I think y'all giving it too much. Nah, I mean, I, think, I think it's just a dope sense. moment. No, it's just again a super dope moment. I get it. I'm just saying, if I'm a like, I'm not saying 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 the magic would have sucked with or without this picture. Of course. That's true. Right. I, 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 so that's so true. we can't. Right, so let's not Y'all lend it. You know how NBA Twitter works, bro? So let's not lend it. Let's not give it you too much power. Ne- you what I'm saying. never give them fuel. Like, never give NBA Twitter fuel to use yeah, stuff. This is, this and just, ugh. This is the most we talked about. I can see it now. Year. And the wild, I get what he's saying, but I just think it's unfair. I, 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 I totally understand what he's saying. Like playing. if no, but also like if he was working out with the Knicks, it would have been on some like people Word. would have commented like, "How desperate can y'all be?" Exactly. If this was the, <laughs> really, bro, Knicks? If this was the Knicks. Really, Knicks? Really, Knicks? Well, see, if this was the Knicks. This would we'll be a headline. We'll that's, that's, the that's, Knicks being uh, a joke uh, again. Uh, look at that. Well, I mean, like y'all, but I've been about you know the butt of a lot of jokes. So like y'all, but the magic we don't pay attention to the magic. So they're not really a big story. That's why I'm saying if it was my team. Magic, I know that. Right, but I'm saying if this was my team, I would know this is gonna come back and bite me in the ass, and I'm gonna hate it. I mean, y'all would have been. Is, is J Cole trying to make the Magic like his Raptors? Like I mean, the, listen, uh, if I'm the Orlando Magic, I give him a Percy Miller Master P deal yeah. and let him get some run in a preseason game, get the jersey, sell the jersey. No, then, oh, hold on, ooh, hold on, bring yeah. up, bring up the thing I did. I don't doubt which thing. thing? The the notes. <laughs> Why? Because speaking of people who shouldn't be playing. Oh, sports. gosh. Who's up? Wait, 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 what happened? Yeah. Connor McGregor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Let's, let's, let's get to this. But Colts should be playing sports. The, the, the time on a tradition of I don't know athletes his fit, and or? celebrities throwing out the first pitch at baseball games. Here's Connor McGregor with a very tight suit. That's what I think that's what it is. <laughs> Cause you, there's wait, no way, there's no way you get full extent. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. no, well, I mean, no, 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 suit, no, the suit no, had nothing no. to do with it. No, no, no. My man just had a horrible aim. Oh, yeah. Those look like he could have been, yo, he could have been in basketball uh, shorts and a white team. He was still throwing it just like that. A- Nah, it's definitely the suit. That's not the suit. No, that's no, 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 no. I don't think he man. could that's extend his that. arm. He as, almost, first there's, off, there's that is, he was this suit. close from clocking this poor lady in the face. You see that? If it was the suit, he would have threw it down. Uh yeah, it, his the 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 tightness would have uh, allowed him to I extend that. Far. You can't get down. a full extension with at all. a tailored suit on, bro. It is bro, he but that was all bad fucking, regardless. Was, I think even if he was there's wearing a, a t-shirt, that was just him being a bad athlete. There's, there's a video of him. I mean, I'll never accuse Conor McGregor of being a bad athlete. I mean, like, okay, we'll do it again. Let's watch this. Let's watch this one. Let's watch this one. Example number two. Okay, really quick. He's wearing a suit jacket. Another another tailored. Doesn't matter. It does not matter. This man, look. Look at this. Clearly, okay. he can't throw. Where is he going? Oh, first of all, all right, time. First of all, this, this is the first problem. problem. <laughs> this is the look first at the problem. ball. Look how he's holding he's it. Not he's not even holding the ball. He's holding it all wrong. He's not even gripping the lace. All right. You, you know. This is terrible. This is it's what I'm still, saying, it's, bro. It's parallel to the ground. Like, there's no way this has Thank any you. opportunity so of getting up there. So it doesn't matter what ball he has. That nigga just cannot throw. So hit play. Anytime you're throwing something it. and your neck goes further than That's what I'm saying, bro, it's not the suit. <laughs> this man <laughs> has no fucking rhythm when it comes okay. to throwing. Let's see. It's not the suit. Let's see the rest of this. Look at oh, oh, where, where is he where going? Is he going? That was a shot put. Honestly, I feel like the that's the shot put. Honestly, I didn't see the rest of the, the throw. That already looked better than that that pitch. <laughs> like, did it really? Did though? It at least really? the, the follow through was iron. Look at the follow through. He loved Bro, this. First off, we know it's a duck. You see it like he's not even gripping the ball. This is like a it's just like it's on his palm and he just lets it go. I just feel like he's throwing every ball the same too. Like just fuck it. I yeah. shot better. Yeah. Wherever it goes, it goes. In regards to throwing. As an athlete, that nigga sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga sucks. No matter what, no matter what attire he's wearing, anything else, that man cannot throw shit. 
He looked so happy though doing it. He did look very <laughs> joyous. <laughs> 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 he looked so happy. And he's just like, mwah. <laughs> 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 I feel bad. Like, mwah. Like, like he's living his childhood dream. Let's do it again. Look at the title. Attempts to throw a football. Because he didn't even throw it. Enjoy yourself, Conor McGregor. Anytime someone labels your YouTube video, Low key attempts. <laughs> that means you just can't do this shit at all. Man. You're horrible at it. My guy Conor McGregor needs a public win soon. Outside of like obviously making this shit ton of money selling whiskey and you know, is that what he's doing? Well, he yeah, he like owns uh, proper twelve. Proper twelve. Proper twelve. Oh. Proper 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a good whiskey. Yeah, he's number one on the Forbes athlete list. I think he made 180 yeah. million this year or something. He was number one, which is nuts. I think it was him. You could pull up the Forbes athlete list. I think I think McGregor put on his Instagram. That's why uh, he doesn't recently. care about losing. Like, would you? <laughs> like honestly, that's why. Even leading up to his last fight, we're all just like, I'm, me personally, I'm like, oh, right he there. is in the top ten, number one. No, go back, go back. Oh, excuse yeah, me. There it is. Right there, no. Yeah, right there. No, yeah, eighty million. Let's so. go. The, uh, yeah, 180 one. million. Is it the world's top nah, 10? Go back now to I want to see. No, go back to now, the yeah, well, now yeah. I want to see the other so one. There's, oh, the, there's, there's a list right there. Conor McGregor, number one, 180 million dollars. Messi, number two, 130. Ronaldo, 120. Dak Prescott, 107 million. Braun, 98. Neymar, 95. Mahomes on that one? Federer, 90. Lewis Hamilton, 82. Brady, 78. Kevin Durant. That's this year? 75. Yeah, I think it's just that past. That is from, yeah, yeah oh, this year. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was over. Sheesh. But that made, like, I'm like, isn't LeBron a billionaire? When you press, I, I guess it was an off year for him. Just <laughs> no, no, I'm just, no, that's what I was talking about. No, 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 that's what I was asking. No, I just was asking, was it overall or just like. Nah, I think, I think it's like, you know, per year, like who yeah. made the oh, most. Right. Like, yeah, 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 I wasn't. This I wasn't year. Sure, like, was uh, which yeah. one of y'all would fuck up the first pitch? I'm not. I could definitely. I could get, I could get it up. If I'm throwing, am I throwing from the mound or am I throwing? Nope, from the mound. Or if you the can assume, is tricky. if you can assume who would have the worst, who pitch would have the worst pitch amongst them three? I've seen Rosie play softball. She would definitely have the worst pitch. Wow! <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you're not athletic. You're very athletic. No, no, no. But I see. I, I see. see <laughs> okay, so this is if, we, if, we, if we if we if we don't pass to Coney Island, no, no, you see no, no, up. No, no, no. <laughs> see, you 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 messed it up. Wow! I can throw. I can pitch. I just can't bat. <laughs> Oh, listen. There's a difference. Did he see you throw? I saw you throw a couple times. Yeah, you know. buddy. It was some, it was some shaky. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, there's me a lot of air tracking. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't bat, but I could throw. Okay. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, not, not hating on Rosie's athletic ability. Very athletic. But out of out of this three, like, yeah, I think you. I think you me? Why? Because I'm the only female? Right? Are you trying to say she throws like a girl? Oh God! Don't what the that. fuck like, is this? Well, Cass? I mean, that was twenty twenty one. Stop using because I know. Mm, yeah. Stop I using mean, that shit. I mean, yeah. I've never he seen. He saw you throw. I've He's never going seen. off okay. observation. Rose. He of says all, you can't throw. Rose. First of all, Rose. that's it. Whoa, I've never seen you do it's anything bad. athletic. Wow! Oh, don't get upset because he saw you. You saw him hit us run, and I saw him lose. Right, and he saw you throw, and he said, "Out of all of us, you're the wackest one." Take it. I lost to him. You can't throw. All right, bet. Eat it, eat it. Uh, no, because I you can't, can't throw. throw. He saw I you can't throw. throw. Wait, Kaz, can I she throw? I have impeccable so aim. Have a, wait, Kaz, can she throw? Do have a throwing contest? Mm. Kaz, can she throw? <laughs> I have impeccable oh, aim, bro. Oh, pardon me? Can she throw? Yes <laughs> or no? Sorry, his mom. Oh, pardon me? Out of the three people here. Can she throw? Yes or no? I was no? asked <laughs> to answer who would have the toughest time. You know, you know what we throw. should do? We should I just say, can she throw? this. play with a little game. We could. And see who has better aim, me or love. We could. I'm just saying. I never said I had particular aim. All I'm <laughs> saying is the nigga throws, so you throw, and he said you can't throw. I wasn't pitching. I wasn't pitching. So just off, eat that. I prefaced it with saying on the mound or off the mound. If on they're the mound. off the mound, I think Rosie has a better chance. Oh my wow. God. On the mound oh, is nigga, very nigga, difficult. Yo, she backed him into a corner. Now the nigga wants to give technicalities. Well, no, I've never pitched from there. So I'm saying, like, I said, can she throw? Yes or no? Overall, can she throw? I can throw, bro. Answer the question, my nigga. Go play? I answered it already, bro. I already so said no. She would have so yes, to, Rosie can't throw. Right, I bro. said she would have the least, the, the most trouble, like filed by you, like very closely. Like too. you think like, Rosie can throw eighteen feet? Yeah. To home but like, but if you it's know, like it's pitch, a, no, 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 no. It's a if first it's pitch. pitching, like he's saying, like on, I, I probably would not do. That's that. That's what I'm saying. Like a first pitch is like not. 
Yeah. From 18. the mound to the home oh, plate? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is? Yeah, yeah sorry. It's 60 feet. Far, yeah, bro. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of oh, far. No, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, God y'all, damn. y'all looking at it thinking it's that no, no, easy. I'm like, what's your stand on it? It's like, oh, shit. They have you stand in front of the mound, so it's like 50 feet. You could, but like only if you like, you know. Like, it's like an unspoken thing. Like, if you're doing the first pitch, like, you throw off the top of the mound. Like, they like, if you're like an old, like, senior citizen, like, yeah, you could throw like off the mound. Or if you're a war veteran, they're like, okay. But like if you're an athlete, bro, they're like, bro, get on top of the mound and throw a strike and see what you can do. <laughs> I'm, not throwing, I'm not throwing a strike, shout, but I'm reaching out, the mound. Shout out George I'm Bush Jr., player. man. Shout out George W. Bush. I'm, I can't, you know, they can say a lot of things about him. But we talk about first pitches, bruh. This guy can do it. I better than Rosie. Listen, uh, I mean, if he George did Bush it. threw, first of all, it was the first game after 9-11. Oh, after 9-11, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was the World Series. First bro. of all, he looked like he coached a couple Bro, so he used to be owner of the Texas Rangers before he Makes got into sense. politics. And then they were asking him to, you know, I remember nah, watching the Nah, he docu- played, he played. I remember watching the documentary. Damn, he walking in with confidence. Bro, he that's played, what, so he used to play. <laughs> also, I'm getting deja vu. I remember this vividly. That's the adrenaline from 9 I remember this vividly. They asked him. That's exactly what it is, bro. It was, at first, this was <laughs> fresh <laughs> off of 9-11. Bro, that's the adrenaline and everyone back. was like, yo, they, they asked the president, like, yo, are you sure? Do you want to go out? Whatever. Yeah, like, aren't there other things you should be doing? He had to put on a bulletproof vest. He had to do all this stuff. And they're like. Mr. Morning. President, do you want us to sit over there? He no, was like, because when he went like, to the he went to the site. He's like, you listen here, motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 I'm standing on top of the mound. He's like, he's like, he's like, Mr. President, do you want me to stand up? He's like, you get right down there. I'm throwing it right down the damn pipe. And this is, you know, this is a big American. Is you, is moment. I remember making, watching like, this as a teenager. This is peak. And he first of all, look that fr- look, look at that, at that form, bro. Like you are, you know, you might be a, an awful wait, terrible wait, wait, person. Form. He's, he lifted his leg, but down the. Clean. <laughs> like, come clean. on, son. That was come clean. On. That is. Bro, I think I could do that. That doesn't nah. look hard. And you, so you think it doesn't look I hard. I don't know if that was that clean. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I, 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 can reach, I can reach home plate. You could reach it. You can reach like, it, getting but getting somebody clean? over like. Oh, I'm not, was, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not was, throwing like a fucking curveball or straight. That was directly. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. That was directly I over reach, the plate. I, can, I know I can reach He did that for the U.S. of A. At the top of the mound, too. Like, full. That was adrenaline. That was pressure. Though. Uh, yeah, that was pressure. pressure. And he had yeah. a lot of pressure. Nah, he used to play. <laughs> George W. Bush is a baseball guy, bro. He used like, to play, he bro. Baseball team. He played high D1 baseball. He used to own the Texas I, Rangers. I it. Like, he's a baseball dude. So, like, this was probably his bit, like, you know. Fuck yeah. He's you know, like, everybody, they'll, they'll forget everything. They'll forget all my Straight politics. Straight down the middle. <laughs> they can so just, they a strike <laughs> they <can> see <laughs> They'll forget all my policies, all Trust the bullshit me. I've been through. We but forgot that, that night. In 40 years. Oh, you were for that second. In 40 second. years. In 40 years long. <laughs> when, when that game ended, that nigga's still a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Now this. Now this. Don't worry, Lo. In 40 years, I'm like Chris Paul's president of the United States. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> no one's going to remember any of his policies. Gonna Chris be like, or Paul. Remember that? Song? Yeah, Chris Paul. I feel like in like 20, 30, 40 oh, years, definitely. we're going to have like mad athletes. Chris like Paul, the president of the United States? Yeah. Where did that come from? <laughs> yeah. I just think because people don't even remember like George W. Bush like had like a real like athletic history. And I think in 30 or 40 years, the way we've like uplifted so many athletes and gotten people involved, I wouldn't be, I don't think it'd be out there all the possibility of a, of a basketball player. Chris became Paul? Of, of yeah. all I'll the athletes? I'll just name it a random oh, I, I, like, I, I think he would. I think LeBron. I think Jeter. I think LeBron. Jeter would be interesting. Jeter could get elected. I don't know if he'd want it. I don't think Jeter would want to do I that. I don't think any athlete Jeter's way too private. wants any kind of poli- you know, but Chris Paul, Chris Paul's like the master poli- I, I said him because he's like the master NBA politician, right? Runs the MBPA, yeah, yeah. got the bubble popping, like he Great fake works laugh. close with everybody. Yeah, Great fake it, laugh. But, like that's a presidential <laughs> laugh right there. That's yeah, a presidential laugh. No, but, 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 <laughs> those, those politics between the, <laughs> between the sports world and actual world politics, that's a, that's a completely different Of course, different of course right now know. it is. Right now, yeah, but I don't think it's going to be synonymous in the future. Listen, 20, 30 years, we're going to see. Yeah. somebody. There's going to be some athlete that runs for president and wins. It's going to happen. We well, just I had, mean, a, clearly we had an idiot president. <laughs> like, clearly anybody can win. So, I, yes, I would, not, I would not disagree with you on like, that. Like, the fact that clearly. Donald Trump ran for president and won. I mean, like, American politics is a joke anyway, but we could be here all day talking about that. So yeah, well. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But we anyway. could. Uh, our, one of our favorite topics on the show, <laughs> Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. Rihanna. Rihanna. What's my name? She's been teasing that shit for the last seven years. Okay. 
She <laughs> is finally talking about making some new music. Well, dropping some new music. Uh, a few weeks ago was New York Fashion Week. Shout out, uh, shout out, good friend Gia Peppers. She was covering uh, the Met Gala. Got some words with Rihanna. Talked about her outfit, but later that week she talked about some music and saying it was going to be very experimental, right? Not as the scariest word. <laughs> don't get scared now. Don't get scared now, niggas. A billion in a month. Don't get scared. Listen. Look at that. Listen. That word got y'all shook. Still, don't she's don't still, get that's scared that's now, my yeah. nigga. It don't got that's me shook. People are still going to listen. Bro, she's still, don't get scared. She's still good. People are still going to listen. Like, you kidding me? I'm sure they are. But are a billion Especially if it is Absolutely. what I think it is. Absolutely. It's definitely going to do Drake numbers. <laughs> It's absolutely going to do Drake. <laughs> it, is. it is. It is. I'm not going to lie, though. The experimental part does make The experimental like, part does make really it. Really <laughs> You're still going to listen, though. 100%. I will still listen. We are. I, For five years, but I'm like. But the staying audience is not going to be as experimental with that album as y'all niggas think. But you haven't even heard it yet. What if it's experimental and good? Could be like, I'm just you, saying, you were the one that said you was a little scared. Because it does give me a little pause. For, I for five that. years, we've gone, we've gone what? Four yeah. summers? If you deem it no experimental. Rihanna. No, we've Rihanna. gone four summers with no Rihanna, bro. All right, cool. And I'm just like, damn. You had this conversation. It's been a minute that we haven't had some Rihanna. So now when she's talking about this experimental stuff, I'm like, all right, hold up. Read some cool. She told AP, you're not going to expect what you hear. Just put that in your mind. Whatever okay. you know of Rihanna is now what you're going to you're gonna hear. I'm really experimenting. And music <laughs> is like fashion. You should be able to a billion, right? I yeah. should be able a to billion. wear whatever I want yeah. and I treat yeah, music nah, the stream, same way. Streaming numbers Because now she's also about to like, we don't know what that other... That nigga's just giving every excuse in the book for this motherfucker. We also don't know what other scary. market she's yeah. about to Stop roll into. Well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, no, uh, the experimental word does scare me. But I uh, her yeah, fans yeah, are still yeah, gonna but, listen, but and what? then we don't know what new fans she's Look at y'all. Be. Y'all already now like she's having oh, fun. It's then. gonna be different. I don't think it's gonna I affect the streaming I, numbers. Huh? I, I, it's definitely not gonna affect the streaming numbers. But I you have to understand. Still, I keep saying you still I, gotta I, give it one, I keep, one listen. I keep saying this to y'all. Her first week numbers are not strong numbers. All the albums that sold huge this year yeah, but were strong. Drake has strong first yeah, week numbers. Drake Kanye has Drake strong has first like week numbers. Albums since I understand Rihanna's that. Last album. I understand that. But Rihanna, it's very different time. Rihanna have. I mean, she has what six, four. four she five, dropped four albums five. in the time that. Rihanna's dropping. Y'all keep going to this whole streaming thing. She never have strong first week numbers. It's because it's different. It's a different time. Right, we're gonna see. We're gonna. She see. dropped. To, she went. She went. We're gonna experimental. See she went a year. <laughs> if she can do this, she went ten years dropping an album every year at one point. And those numbers of the, during the first week were not strong. Yes, she also. Yeah, you don't. I understand. It's different time. You're using. A, you're using an antique version of like numbers right now. Yeah. Like. Right? Rihanna came out like we forget Rihanna came out in the CD era also like people are still buying CDs right. like when her no, first yeah, album we, we've had that conversation so it's right. different but I I just think I'll again this isn't a numbers conversation this is a quality conversation the experimental word scares me because she hangs out with ASAP Rocky a lot ooh mm. I mean <laughs> does she Wait, well, I mean she has to it's been a lot of time together that's her boyfriend so yeah and I remember when ASAP Rocky said he was gonna he's gonna drop some experimental music yeah, we'll and that's when we started Damn saying it. Ferg was the hottest in the group. Well, Ferg was always the best rapper out of that crew. Yeah, but it took a while. Like Rocky was the first. Rocky was the guy who kicked. Well, it yeah, off I mean, the obviously crew. he kicked it off because he knew. Yeah, and he, then was that, the, he was the leader. And then a few albums down, then we were like, oh, I think we like Ferg more. Right, right. Like, <laughs> Ferg's better. Right, right. Like ASAP started doing records like Fish and and you know what's the, what's the guy what's the bald headed guy Moby. And uh, it's just a bunch of UK like dudes that at it. The ASAP uh, Forever. Did you? Did you like it? Uh, I, I can't tell you the last ASAP uh, Rocky uh, song uh, I really uh, like. I don't know, guys. I can't tell you. I, 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 I bang some Ferg. I bang some Ferg all day, every day. No, I love Ferg. Ferg but some Rocky? He's, he's, he's. I like him with Tyler. Like the records he does with Tyler is dope. Oh, I wonder why. But I, bro, I don't listen to Rocky, so I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know what you're talking about. I, <laughs> I, give, I always I give, I always give Rocky a spin. No, I mean like the late, like the the new That's stuff. My I, don't, I, don't, mm -hmm. I mean, I listen to his old stuff, but the new stuff, I could care. I still love uh, Purple Swag and you you gotta know, be in the move for Rocky. Uh, Peso. Yep. Ding, ding, ding. But listen, man, ding, experimental. Ding, ding, ding. 
I Rihanna, be pretty mother. Mm-mm. Doesn't oh, sound good repping. to me, but I think it's gonna be fun. I okay. think if anything, she's oh, gonna get a different anything. audience. Yeah, tell yourself anything that she want. already. Has. Why are you so? Well, time out. Let's let's anti. Uh, get it. Let's rewind a second, Lo. Why are you so <laughs> anti Rihanna right I'm now? I'm not anti. Rihanna. Not anti. You keep, no. keep saying like so we're well, making so excuses. Did. Anti. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like that. No, you keep saying like we keep making excuses. Like, excuse for what? Like no, I'm not. I'm not you don't want to enjoy new Rihanna music. Did I say that? I'm just saying that like, was never the point of the conversation. Nah, but my, you're saying, my, we're my, making an excuse. What excuse are we making for? No, her? she's not going to sell a billion, and now y'all have a reason. She's for one sure. of the reasons to believe she. I may didn't not say do sell it. a billion. I said she's going to get a billion streams at first month. It isn't easily. Isn't that the easily? No, because you can. No, a billion to it and streams and a billion sales are not the same thing. No, yeah, yeah, you're right, my fault. But and Drake just did, cleared that easily. So I think well, Rihanna. Drake I think Rihanna is going to have the same sort of. That's also Drake first week. I think Rihanna's going to have this similar week. Okay. I, think I don't like how you downplay but Rihanna, bro. I'm not downplaying. It's also I'm just, Drake. I'm reverting, okay, I'm she's reverting, Rihanna. I'm reverting back to you know the the history of the sales. Drake is a big. Sp- Drake is a streaming monster. So is Rihanna. Is she? Yes. <laughs> she's we'll the most. Stre- she's I mean, been the most streamed we'll woman see. on. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Like we'll now we now we're on the yeah. path I mean, that we will be able to see. We will see. be able to see. Yeah. I mean, that's. Yeah. I think that's. I think that's the best. Not coming. That album's not coming. That album's not it's coming. Not, it's I don't not, think it's coming. I don't think it's coming not, out. That album's not coming out. All right, right now is the point where you rewind a few weeks ago when you said the Kanye album was never coming out on this podcast, oh, well. <laughs> oh. and then we just slapped oh, the Dondo on there. Yeah, it's like it's gonna come out, obviously. Sucks, it's just we just time. don't know when. <laughs> <laughs> but we're getting closer because she's talking about it. Yeah. Before she was she's even she's talking. Like, no, she she wouldn't. Leave me alone. She's talked about. She's talked about her music. She talked about her new. Yeah, but then she stopped. It was like leave me alone. Wasn't she working with Pharrell at one Focus point? Focus on this girl. Like that? I can't. Uh, I don't that I'm know. selling you. I feel like Pharrell was supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. They were saying she's working with a lot of reggae artists. So they think. Uh, yeah, like that's what reggae. I heard. I heard it was yeah. supposed to be a big album, reggae Which album. would be fire. Yes. Okay. Yes. What? I don't have fun with that. <sighs> it would Man. be fire. Of course. Who doesn't have fun with that? <laughs> I'm saying, y'all, I'm, we're going to have fun with it. There's, 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 that's not going to do a billion, but we're, we're going to have fun with that. All right. Clearly. All right. Let's do, yes, we'll but we'll see. Uh, let's go Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X dropped his album last week, Montero. Um, Which I like. Yo. I'm, like I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. Yes. I'm going to keep it a super duper buck. Keep it a buck. You didn't expect to like it? I didn't expect to like it, bro. I thought Old Town Road was, was going to be here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah. Like one hit wonder. <laughs> Whoever's on that dude's team. Doing the rollouts and putting the songs together. I don't know if he's writing all his stuff out, but that is a pop star, bro. Yeah. A like pop that. star. Like, that is like, he's on, like, I've seen him doing like commercials with Elton John now for Uber Eats and like. He's on his album. All that, like, it, it didn't hit me how like large this dude was until like the VMAs. Hey, yo. Like, he came to the VMAs, smashed it. Not right now. Like, <laughs> not right now. <laughs> <laughs> not during Lil Nas X. I, I saw, I saw it there. I saw it during Old Town. Wait, what, what happened? Don't, don't, don't. don't. We're not doing <laughs> that. Like, uh, <laughs> no, I say all that to say. I say all that to say one. Uh, his album is great. <laughs> like, I love. It. I didn't expect like I didn't expect to jam to songs with like that sort of content. Mm-hmm. Per se, like <laughs> I don't necessarily relate to most of it, mm-hmm. but just sonically, just being able to craft like songs that I know I'm gonna hear in like the gap and on Z100 right. and in commercials, and just knowing just how like there's an art to pop music, right? Like people always say, like, oh, it's easy to be a pop artist, you just gotta be popular, and you know, I'm like, mm-hmm. nah, like there's like a science to making that song just seamlessly sound like top 100 mm. sound like you know stuff you could either play like for, for kids or mm. not for kids or mm. just for everybody like just like drake kind of got that formula down for for what he does really well lil nas x like musically he got it yeah. um the one thing that has always stood out though obviously has been you know folks not really getting with how out there he is with his sexuality, right? Like, obviously we've they all seen what Lil Boosie just... has said and other people's talking about, ooh, we can't, you know, have our kids watching this and blah, blah, blah. And I can't believe that hip hop and black artists have evolved so much that now we're, not we, 
But like there's people within the hip hop community that are like the oh my God, what would the children think? Like type of people, you know what I'm saying? Like that is ne- like hip hop was never built on that. Like especially black music was never built on like, oh, what will the children think type of shit. It's always been like, let the art speak for itself and blah, blah, blah. And like, you know, it's always been about the youth anyway. And I mean, who aside from Little Boosie is, is saying that? Oh, a lot of people. Uh, T.I. said something too. A lot of people. T.I. said it. He said I mean, some ignorant stuff too. It's N words like- with three times the budget that Lil Nas X got and still can't do what he do because they too cool to be funny. LOL, N words is really too gangster to make more money. You ain't got to kiss a dude in the mouth. But I also don't need to feel like I'm going to die watching the video, bro. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So, the, so the gap between oh, that all, comment, the, the, the gap between that comment in regards to um, people feeling like they're too cool or. I think he's really talking about just like the hyper masculinity of like hip hop music. But he also got to think. Like, it's too gangster. Like, like, the videos is like, ah, but they're going to shoot me to the screen. Little Nas X is what? New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> How old is Little Nas X? He's like 21. Ooh, well, he's maybe. young. Yeah, right? All right. So you think about all the like the, the old 22. Ooh, 22 geez. years old, right? Yeah. The 22 year old kid mm. who. He's em- a barb. Embra- it was a barb. barb. Yeah. Embraces, <laughs> you know, his sexuality, you know, put it on Front Street, made it comfortable and cool to be himself. Yeah. A lot of guys in hip hop don't want to be cool because one, they're old, not old, but they're just like they're. They're seasoned in a, di- in a different way. They come yeah. from a different background. Clearly, this this kid comes from a, another background where it, he wanted to have fun. He wanted to be popular. He wanted to, you know, be this, that, and the third. So this doesn't surprise me. He's Old Town Road made me know that kid was a superstar. Yeah, I didn't how and how it was gonna come. I'm not surprised by what we're getting right now. I the mean, the brilliance, the, the the Uber, the Elton John, all this. I'm not surprised by none of this. This cut. This he was a. Born given superstar, and you can tell by his personality, how he carries himself, uh, how he makes fun of people who make fun of him, how he makes people feel uncomfortable, how he makes people feel comfortable. Those are all superstar traits. Yeah, he's and he's just, been doing that from day one. So I can't. I'm not surprised, and I love it. You know, his music may not be for me, but have you listened to the album? I you know, I skimmed through it, but it's just like all right, it's not for me. Like, but uh, I'm not gonna be like I ain't I ain't touching this because uh, bro, it's just not for me. But I get it, I understand, and I see it. it's in my face. I respect it and I love it. You know what I mean? Like you can't, and anyone who has a problem with that, you got to really look at yourself in the mirror and be like, all right, what's going on? Yeah, something's, yeah. I was just going to say like, that. I like that mm-hmm. you said that. You don't have to be like, you don't, you don't have to, you know, be around gay people and, and love them and embrace them. You don't have to do that. You have to respect them. Right. You know what I mean? That's that's the only thing. You don't have to like the lifestyle. You don't have to live well, the lifestyle. That's you don't have to stand next. Make yeah. Homophobic you, comments. Right. Like, you got to respect mm-hmm. it. And mm-hmm. that's why I think it's, it's Bootsy going out his way and, you know, other people you said that are going out their way to say this, that, and the third. Like, bro, it doesn't affect you at all. I just there's, always, wor- there's worse Bootsy things on TV. Bootsy always goes out his way to make ignorant comments about. There's worse things on TV. There's worse yeah. things on radio. There's worse things in the theaters. There's worse things on the internet. There's worse things you remember what the way than this man like, embracing like, his, mm. his sexuality. My like, thing is, on, man, like, if you're, if you're taking what anything Bootsy says to heart. Like, I'm just using him as an example. You all know Bootsy. Boosie is like that deep South cousin that we all have. <laughs> it's just like ain't no cousin in my family. It's really like not like that, but you know, like we all got those people that we even know that are either our family or friends or whatever that are just have those thoughts in their head that are extremely ignorant and, and are Boosie just says them aggressively ignorant. And like you know, most of us, most you know, well-meaning folks had that thing that stops you from saying certain stuff before you say it. Like common sense. Like yeah. common sense. Yeah, that's common the sense thing. is that's what I think thing. we call it. And, <laughs> that's the um, visor right here before you blurt something out. It's common sense. And he kind of just goes and and so the other side of that argument is folks feel like, well, if he's free to say how he feels about sexuality and this, that, and the third, mm. I should feel free to be able to say like, I don't agree with what you do and blah, 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 blah. Um, Which is totally fine. You can disagree or agree with someone's lifestyle, yeah. politics, music choice, whatever the you know whatever the case is. Yeah. But it's like when you double down and you're disrespecting that person's choice and making them feel uncomfortable that they can't feel because of what because of what they're yep. choosing yeah. to do. That's where the that's where the great not the great area. Yeah. That's where the line needs to stop. It's like all right, you don't have to like gay people. Yeah. You don't have to love them. You don't have to buy their product. Yeah, but to have an extreme it. hate for them yeah, makes me question a, you. Yeah, yeah I always, I, of course. When when I try to talk to folks about like stuff like this, I always try to make it 
uh, relatable to race because I feel like that's the easiest way that people can like, you know, uh, understand things. It's like, well, if I don't like you because you're black, you know what I mean? Even though you being black has nothing to do with what goes on in my life right. or, you know, not really bothering me. And I have, you know, predetermined, you know, uh, stereotypes about you and right. all this type of stuff. Right. And like, that's terrible. And now it's like, well, now I, uh, you know, I can't say what I want to say because people will cancel me or whatever. And it's like, that's always existed, bro. It's like you can say what you want. Just expect a big population of people to not fuck with you because of it. No, stop cursing. You're right. Stop not messing with you because of it. <laughs> you could, I use the curse as an emphasis, all right? Not as no, a, no emphasis. On. No. No we're, cursing we're, at no, all. No cursing. You're right. Um so yeah, it's all it's no different from somebody coming into an office and be like, hey, I hate all black people. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right. Any black people agree with this? All right, yeah, you get, you can go, right. you, you can beat it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And for a while, people of the LBGTQ community didn't really have that. You know, like it's getting, it's gotten better. They've gotten way more, you know, um, representation, and you know, obviously they're still fighting every day. But yeah. you know, like laws and stuff are different. That you know, a lot of people in that community feel a lot more empowered when they see a guy like Lil Nas X being super out there proud and succeeding at the same time you know right. what i mean because this could have been something that held him back not even a generation ago you know what i'm saying but like he not knew even 10 because years like the weight of that community's like 10 years support, ago he was 12 years old there was no way he could have did that the weight the weight of that community support is 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 unheard of yeah. once, once you have someone that is same proud, thing with black people yeah no, of like, course no I, I get that it's like yo if somebody was getting hated on because it was black a whole the whole nation be like, nah, we riding with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you shouldn't be surprised when somebody's trying to come at somebody because of their personal lifestyle. I'm not surprised. No, I'm not surprised. I'm not. That, that's not. I'm not I'm saying not, you versus. Oh, I'm just saying yeah. people in general. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, I, I'm I'm proud of him. I like to to to. You don't gotta be proud of him. You don't know him. <laughs> no, I am proud of him because no, nah, because he stood on his, you know, he stood on his two feet gotcha. and he owned it. Yeah. Gotcha. You got to see. That's the thing. You got to You got to tell people that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if they don't know you, you know what I mean. Like when people, even they, even if they don't listen to your artistry. Right. I'm like, yo, I'm proud that you did that. I'm proud that you had a. I get that. You know, that's I get that. I'm just giving him that because mm -hmm. I'm sure he's been troubled by that. Like, you know, people don't understand me. People of don't course. support me. That's, just that's that. not and they don't even know me. So yeah, I want people that are going through these things. That yo, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for sticking, standing your ground yeah, against man. people that that's have bigger thing. voices and, and still. Look down on you. It's not an easy thing to he's do. He's also man. just so likable. He's a very likable. That's so what I'm saying. Because he's a superstar. Mm. You saw that, that. It just. It really doesn't matter. Like nah. you got to You just look past that. Like that's what he wants to do. He's happy. Cool. Not mad at him. Mm -hmm. Not mad at him. Shout out. To go. Go stream that album. I'm sure you got plenty of streams. Like Carol. It. Go check it out. Uh, Lil Wayne has been on a tear. On a tear. <laughs> on a tear. Air this year. I'm gonna put it on the table right now. Do you think? 2021 ends. Is I mean, it possible? It when, it 20, when, 20, it will, it when 2021 end. ends, <laughs> if we make it, will Lil Wayne be able to say once again he's the best rapper alive? Was he ever? Hold on, time out. When was he not able to say that? A long time. <laughs> a, he was, was dropping some shit for a while. It was tricky years where it's like, all right, buddy. He was dropping that some claim is uh, this disappearing. So did that like okay. cancel out what he had already done? Because he was no, it didn't cancel like, out. Shit, but, it doesn't cancel out. But like, but you thought when he made no, when he made that claim, when he first made that claim. He, there was evidence right. that he was. Right. That evidence slowly started to, to dwindle he wasn't away. Wasn't giving us enough. No, because wasn't he wasn't giving us quality. Yeah, okay. I think it was the quality, and I think it was you know there was a time where the Wayne, volume uh, of the, it. the Wayne feature, yeah, was the jackpot. The Drake feature of its era, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there was that point where you got Wayne on your single, you got Wayne in your album mm -hmm. because he was that hot at that point, right? I don't know if we'll ever get to a point where like one artist is that person again, but I feel like Wayne is trying to like reheat that sort of like energy that he had. I forgot who I was telling this to. Uh -huh. um, and I, damn, I want to, I, I want to quote it, but I'm like, if we, if I don't get an album, Oh, I was at, I was at Sahara having this conversation with my man, Phil. Mm. I'm like, if we don't get um, an album from Wayne, I'll, I'll just take these moments. I like these features, man. 
Like yeah. these I moments. I think we talked about this a few weeks ago. Where it's like, there's certain artists that I'm good. Well, on. no, it was oh, it was you. It was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I'm good cool. on you ever putting out another. Album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want yeah, it, was, cool, it was me. And you. This is these moments are justifiable enough mm-hmm. to remind him, me why you, you said you. I'd rather him blah, give blah, us blah. this than give us al- a mid album. Yeah, yeah, I don't want yeah. an uh, album yeah. that comes with some stress. I don't <laughs> like when you already got classics under your belt, just, bro. Like, just you're good. No one to oh, come, it's, come, it's, yeah, come back and play pickup games. Yeah, it's like hoes. Like yeah. I, I mean, I would still listen to a whole album, obviously, but I'm not fiending for a new one. If he just drops verses here and there all the time, yeah. I'm cool. Yeah, he's already given we'll me that. exactly what I need out of him for as long as I wanted to. So I think Wayne, I think Wayne's on. We see it, Eden. Wayne's on that. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne's on the ride, man. You Wayne's on the ride. He's got, you know, Wayne. he's on the Waukesha remix. He's but I'm on. okay. I'm okay if he didn't drop an album. Yeah, I'm cool. I, well, well, he's dropping a collab album with Rich the Kid. See, you know, and see now, okay. see now you didn't see now you didn't. Damn it, Wayne! Now you. The kid. Now we're out. What if it's not? Well, I mean, what okay, okay. Uh, listen, if, question. If, if, I have a question. If, 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 What's up? So, okay, me. Okay. Mm. Why Rich the Kid? <laughs> Yeah, right. Why Rich Skin? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, I, know? I, I don't even know. know. I thought I was just a single. I thought I was just a single. And then I, they say joint album. No, like, joint no, project no. with all the. Low uh, Rider Rich the Kid announced joint album trust called fun Trust kid. Fund Baby. Why? Boy. I expect one with Drake before that. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, sure I'm, I'm cool on that. I'm cool. No, I'm saying. <laughs> I I'm before, yeah. Expect that before Rich the Kid. Uh, I guess the jury said, uh, well, Wayne's been so hot, then what? maybe the album's going to be fire. Who knows? I don't know. Who, I, I don't, I'm not the big rich. I'm not the big if he, rich. Yo, if he's I, rapping like he's rapping now, maybe Wayne's part going to be fire, but I don't have no trust in Rich the Kid. I'm not, I'll be honest, bro. Not a joint album with Wayne. There's some There's some joint Wayne albums. Like, There's never been like a joint Wayne album that like I just love like that anyway. <laughs> well, he only had one. Yeah, Holly Grove. <laughs> Yeah, like oh, Father Hollywood with two chains. That was cool. Yeah, like Father, like Son with Birdman. So yeah, yeah, too. He had, uh, I mean, there's the the Phantom uh, Joel Santana tape count. Like, no, because it never officially, uh, never officially like, came out. The, the but, like, internet is, dirt dorks. We knew where we, it was. We pieced together yeah, like we pieced an like, yeah. <laughs> version. But I don't know if you can really call that anything. <laughs> yeah, but nah, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, it remains uh, to be seen. But like uh, I said. I like the We Are Young Money album. That was my joke. But see, this might be the this might be the album. You don't like the We Are Young Money album? No. This might be the No, not at all. Yeah, it was a rock with gutter gutter. Kid kid. Like my face I ever wore on a poster. No. This might be the album that we were just talking about. That might mess it up for us. That's how I was just about to say that. I was just about to say that. Might be the one like, oh. So this idiot started singing We Are Young. Doing so good. He was just about to give you the the best rapper alive. We was doing so good. We. Oh man! Speaking of the We Are Young Money album, you know who has a Young Money tattoo on his neck? Who? J.R. Smith. Wow. That's such a segue. A good segue, though. I'm, listen, I'm a pro at this. Segue. Uh, J.R. Smith. Why do you know that? You don't yeah. watch the. You never, you never a looked at J.R. Smith. Yeah, album? but like I Google put he, it up. J.R. Smith, Young Money tattoo. tattoo. Yeah, tattoo? You never saw that. I'm sure I'm he's uh. Isn't it like right here? Right now. Yeah, it's right on his neck. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you would be able to see it if you know. Is he just, yeah, like, just really like their music or? Yeah, it was right on his neck. I remember. I mean, he was in the Bedrock video. You know what I'm saying? He <laughs> Maybe he's an honorary guy. member. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I mean, sure, you know. Oh, interesting. Shout out to the blood. That's a very specific... Uh, <laughs> Why are you shouting out uh, gangs? I'm Cass. just... That's a way to wear it. I wasn't shouting out... I was like, hold on, bro. I, I thought not, we were cleaning up the show. I was not shouting out gang. <laughs> I thought we were cleaning this up. That's a way to lyric, but... Oh, all right. Oh, relax. Yeah. That's why you wearing brown today? Brown what? is that that well y'all y'all sued up bro, I'm white I'm I'm, 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 I'm neutral okay. I'm neutral on this side I got you I'm neutral I don't know which is this one huh <laughs> this is this Dodgers and uh, cl- uh oh, the Angels well, what's today. the color okay. huh? I'm neutral what's the color it's blue and red it's <laughs> gang <laughs> gang unification <laughs> where's the blue <laughs> right, <laughs> right there right there right there blue put it to the camera. Blue. <laughs> I'm neutral. Hey, don't blink. You I might got love blue. for both sides. <laughs> I'm, 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 clearly, these two are riding. Imagine 
just play the best. Imagine Lil's gonna jump. He's like, you don't see the bro? He's like, guys, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> look, look, I got a little bit of blue in the hair. Right here, right here. A little shading, a little blue shading. And they'd be like, oh, okay, I see. You. Exactly. <laughs> I'd be good. I'm like, all right, my bad. All right, cuz. <laughs> just checking. I'd be, I'd be good. Just checking the temp. What? No, you wear I got a lot, blue, you, too. You wear a lot of red. If that's it, I got blue too. You came, you came in heavy with the red today. Wow. You was it's a TDE. Cool. Yeah, you came in heavy it's with the TD red. It's a TDE hoodie too. Yeah, like, yeah, you, you know who they affiliated with. Shout out Punch. You know who they affiliated with. Oh my God, I like them. <laughs> uh, all right, buddy. Jesus. Yeah. Don't do all that. Right. I am zero affiliation to anything. Anyway. Uh, speaking of Suwoo's, uh, <laughs> J.R. Smith is in North Carolina a and chronicling his college journey tweet by tweet. Can I just say how much? I, this is my favorite sports story of the year by far. It's not even I'm close. going back to, to him going to college. So J.R. went to the NBA straight out of high school, right? Uh, he was committed to North Carolina at one point. Mm -hmm. I remember, like, I was in high school. To was, UNC was, or? He was, yeah, University of North Carolina. Okay. So in high school, uh, you know, J.R. Smith was a year, he was in the class above me, and he played at St. Benedict's in Newark. So I used to see his team a lot, my team, like, right. you know, his brother Chris, like, all this type of shit. So, you know. um all this type of stuff and um you know we i i knew of jr smith growing up so i remember i never really thought he was gonna like jump straight to the nba i was like oh he's really good he's gonna be a great college player and eventually make it to the nba but like he just got like he just got on this hot streak from like the end of his senior year to like the mcdonald's all-american game to like a bunch of other stuff where he was just like you know what i'm just gonna go straight to the nba and he did so he still has his college eligibility. And his whole thing was, I'm going to go back to college, go to a HBCU mm -hmm. and use my college eligibility to play college golf. And J.R. Smith is an avid <laughs> golfer. Um, I think what he's doing is great for HBCU. We, I know, Lo, you talk about your love for HBCUs in the beginning of the show and just every episode, obviously. And um, I love that, especially, I mean, you know, last year with the whole, like, racial rec reckoning of the summer and, like, all, like, the we're going to put resources into black communities oh, yeah. and yeah. type of stuff that happened. Yeah. A lot of people, that was just a lot of talk, right? Like, we... Yeah, we're they, Exactly. Like I, I'm sure a lot of black folks that listen to this show go ask your boss, say, hey, you remember that whole thing we talked about last summer? Like where have we evolved <laughs> since then? Like, seriously, go ask them. They will have to give you an answer, and I'm pretty sure if you're black, they will help you out. But him lending his name and his talent to a HBCU, I think is super dope because it's giving me J. Cole vibes. I think it's better. I think this is better. <laughs> I think I like, this is a better story Jake, than J. Cole. No, no, it is. Jake it's just Cole. similar. Like, you know what? I'm going to go back to what yeah. I love and I'm going to just figure something out. Because why not? Because <laughs> why not? You're never going to get that chance again, right? Like, if I, you know, if I was a professional basketball player, I just spent 14, what, 14, 15 years of my life, 16, 16, 16 years of my life just hooping, you know what I'm saying? Every athlete you talk to or just anybody you talk to that, puts that much time into a craft. Mm. Once you're like out of the grass and like you take your head out and smell the roses, you're just like, damn, what else is there in life to do? Like, I what? think I think based off of his commitment to the, you know, to basketball in his entire life and then, you know, his commitment to the NBA for 16 years, let him know that I have it in me to commit to something else that, mm -hmm. that's going to benefit my my life and my kids and, you know, people around me. That's the beauty of sports, by Right, the way. and I think that's, you know, him doing this at an HBCU just lends to the credibility of his dedication and wanting to spread awareness. And, and, and like you said, the way he's documenting it yeah. on social media and, and answering I hated people's... school growing up. And I knew this would be a challenge, but right. that's not going to discourage me one second. You have to be able to buckle down and lock it to new journeys and challenges coming in your life. Observe, learn, and adapt. I love this story so much, man, because I feel like... but that's And that's the thing. Like That's probably how he approached the, uh, the NBA. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you got to yeah, buckle down. Could you down imagine and... being at A&T 
and you're a, you're the actual college age. Yeah. And you're on the golf team. And J.R. Smith, and on the team? Smith walks in. That's awesome. Your new like, what? <laughs> that is awesome. Are you yeah. kidding me? Like that the the HBCU golf team. <laughs> how much attention does an HBCU golf team get? Okay. Well, how much of the attention does the HBCU this also team any period. collegiate yeah. collegiate team get? Period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they don't get nothing. Like the fact that you got an NBA champion on your team and like putting so much shine on your school. There's gonna be a whole generation of kids that grow up and be like, oh, I want to go to North Carolina A&T because J.R. Smith went there and played golf. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it yeah. sounds crazy now, but like, you know, it, it's it's super dope, man. I love it. And I love that, um, you know, J.R. who, you know, for, fairly or unfairly was, you know, categorized at like, oh, the Henny J.R. and like being like this wild party dude. Those names dude are funny. Well, I mean, well, he, I well, well, funny, well, I mean, but... Well, he, he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he did do these uh, things. Apparently, it wasn't terribly accurate. If if you ask him, apparently he says he's never drank a honey in his life. I was like, really? He said yeah. that. Yeah, he said he's. he's well, he did. Well, he, he did go to. <laughs> to be fair, as, he did. As he the did run around in the group. Mm -hmm. He did used to just get uh, like shots of Jack Honey. Yeah, Jack Which Honey. I, yeah, Jack Honey. Him and his brother <laughs> drink Jack Honey. I remember that. Jack Honey. Because I remember being like, really. I used to love Jack Honey. Nah, Chris oh, drink. Chris, Chris don't drink. <laughs> well, when I hang with Chris, no, oh, we ain't drinking Jack Honey. I'm saying that's what the, the shots they used to order. Jr., you too big to be drinking Jack Honey, bro. <laughs> Listen, if that maybe it was like a little his little balance. Jack that's Honey was still, like Jack Honey is like the, the balance of what? That's like you the never know when you don't want to get dirt. Real scotch, bro. Jack Honey is, is like yeah. sugar. Yes. Jack Honey exactly. is, is sweet. Trendy. Like sugar and honey. It's easy to go down. Yeah. Nah, that's nah, that's just dumb. No, it's nice. It tastes like syrup. No, it doesn't. It is true though. That is not smooth. It's like trading wheels for real Now I drink bourbon, like whatever. Yeah. Now I drink bourbon, like whatever. It's a whiskey. What, Jack Honey? When yeah. I was like Jack 22. Jack Honey and Fireball was, is all like training oh, wheels to whiskey. Oh, yeah. God. It's just fireball. like candy in a, in, a, in a glass. Like just just, just the thought fireball. of those fireball. liquors just take me back to so many like, college dorms. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ah. Bro, they sell Fireball in the deli. Like, oh <laughs> they sell it like the little, the little, uh, the nips. Is there yeah. one liquor that you will never, ever drink again? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I'll never drink gin again. Ever again. Ever again. You're the second of, person to tell me specific gin or? Specific, yeah, just gin. Just Bombay. I don't care. I drink gin I don't care what. Gin and I don't like airports. Bombay. I don't care. I mean, I can, Bombay, I Bombay, Hendrix. Hendrix. No. I love Hendrix gin. I like that. I like Tangeray. Um, I like gin. Tangeray, none of that. I'm not touching none of that. Yo, it tastes like rubbing alcohol <laughs> and being dehydrated What's in the morning. What's yours? Like, E and J. I, e and I, never, I never had E and J. Is it because oh. you have a story or you just taste disgusting? Do I have a story? Oh my gosh. I never had E and J a day in my life. My oh. first weekend in college. <laughs> that, I mean, that's the liquor you could afford when you're in college too. So first weekend in and college. For locals. I was. How a does freshman. this make you feel? Uh, okay. Like literally looking at a bottle of E and J, like I, you know, I never. I, I, things just start flashing oh. before my eyes. I never like, tried. Oh, God, I never no, tried. No, it. no. So long, painfully long story short, I was a freshman on, on my campus and the. I drank so much that mm -hmm. my senior captain had to carry me and oh, you told the story, through. yeah, yeah, he had I remember to carry the story, me yeah. and and you know I, I passed out on the street. I was that shit is disgusting. Eighteen years old. Do you person. remember the four, the OG four local though? I don't want to remember we used any four the crack. We used to try to finish. Did, with did, these didn't, didn't all these get recalled? Yeah, they, they as they recall. should. <laughs> yeah, they got recalled. They have people doing crazy. You know what? Listen, that first run of Four Loco it was like it was like somebody in the government was like, "Let's see if we can sprinkle some crack in the street." It was like <laughs> pretty much what it was. That's exactly it was crack in, in liquid form. Yes, my alcohol would be chicken sandwiches. Let's, have, a, let's have another run at this. Whatever Four Loco that's out in bodegas and and is streets not right now. They're still version. out. That is not the OG Four Loco that first came They're out. Probably safer. They had to. Yeah, they had um, to. My liquor is a uh, black label. Black label. Wow, really, really? really? What but you would never have again. Yeah. What, that's uh, Johnny that Walker? That story? Is this uh, very, triggering to you at all? It's a very Dominican party drink. You know? uh, oh my God, you're reminding me of Buchanan. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, so I can't it's have like, Buchanan anymore. Is it a Dominican party drink? It's this like every Dominican like party. Showers. If you go to any Dominican <laughs> house party or party, <laughs> yeah. there's a bottle of black. Yeah, there's, this, this there's a blue like label or red label. I didn't know that. Or there's that Bukana. or Bukana. Yeah. Bukana. What the hell? Oh, yeah. What is it? I was about to say the Brugal scotch. for me. It's, 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 uh, scotch. Yeah. No. It's but, like blended scotch, yeah. but it's like even the taste, like the smell. Who drinks that? The Dominicans drink the, that? Dominicans yes. drink all of this. The OG Brugal. That looks like a yeah, That's a Dominican bottle. <laughs> but that's wrong. I, know, I, I do this. I know. I know. I know that. I know that bottle when I see it. But something about that blended, like that scotch. 
Yikes. Blended Yikes. scotch sounds horrible. So does this hurt you a little bit, Loki? I love Hendrix. I, I mean, yo, shout Hendrix, out to the kid who put us on to this. Wait, so what happened with gin and you? Tonic and I a just, little I bit of lime? No, I just, I just don't like the taste. It's like oh. very... I know, I, it tastes I know, like pine cones. Does that make I don't sense? Have a, yeah, I don't have pine a... Pine cones? I, pine cones. You know how pine cones smell? Nah, you get kinda, a good Hendrix like and that. tonic with a squeeze of lime and some oh, ice. Cucumber. Wait, why do you know? Wait, wait, why do you know? Wait, why do you know how that's pine cones taste? It, it smells. <laughs> it crazy. tastes how they smell. Raccoon. What? Mine and are the same. Oh, me, so me, mean. Me and Jake. That was very mean. No, she was like, you know how pine cones taste. I'm like, no, we don't. Well, you know how they smell. It tastes how pine. Pineco smell. All right, well, that, yeah, I get that, but I'm okay, like, bro, I'll be chomping on them joints. I don't either. Either. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> that is the. That's not good either. Yeah, that's fun. that's. Yeah. Mine and are the same. Oh, yeah. the holes. Oh, I had a bad 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 experience. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah, yeah I can't. ours. I like, There's I like, a time. I, I like Corvo. There's a time in your life where you graduate from like. You have to graduate from Corvo. I got <laughs> like, I'm, not mad, I'm like, not mad at Corvo. I'm not gonna hold. I'm not. It. Listen, I'm not mad at any of those liquors, especially if they want to sponsor us. But yes, there's, a right. point, <laughs> there's a point in time where you got to graduate from Chimpe. college liquors. What are college liquors? Cheap, affordable Jose, liquor. E and J. The OG Blue Dot. Fucking Amsterdam. Ciroc. Stop cursing. Oh, sorry. Amsterdam. <laughs> now he got me on that kick, man. Yeah, man. Uh, 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 Svetka. 40 ounces. Svetka. Oh. Remember Svetka? Oh. Wait, no, no, no. Woo. I like what about 99 Woo. Bananas? 99. <laughs> <laughs> The co ed. <laughs> what? Yo, yo, listen. Every single Jesus girl Christ. dorm in the Jesus history of college Banana had liqueur? trophy cases of 99 bananas. What? Every, yes, 99 bananas had dorm. It's like white house. college drink? Yeah. No. 99 bananas. I've never college. seen this at Howard. Cheap. You've never seen Well, you went to Howard. That's, that's why I asked. I was like, was it a white college no, drink? 99 bananas had college dorms at a chokehold. When it was I just cheap. I would just see Sky Vodka everywhere. Sky vodka also yes. flavors. What? What? There's another vodka that I'm missing. It's Grey Goose. Smirnoff. Smirnoff. Oh yeah. yeah, you got to graduate from the Smirnoff one day too. Oh, oh. Yikes. oh. Now, 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 I used to, now I would oh. see that. Oh, green apple vodka. Green apple Smirnoff. I would what see Smirnoff the, all the, the, the girly, time. Yeah. What was the girly alcohol that every girl had that had like a flavor in it? Mike's hard. Yeah, Mike's, <laughs> Mike's hard lemonade. Mike's hard lemonade. Yeah. 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 The kids in the chokehold too. Oh, let, me you, let me tell you a story. Uh, so when I went to um, when I went to Howard, I had transferred. Are you just telling him because you pointed at him, or can I listen to? Wow. All right, all right. Close your ears. This is a guys only story. <laughs> guys only story, bro. Bro time. The bro pod. It's such a bro pod, bro. When I went to when I went to Howard. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, let's, it was it was it was funny in the moment. Let's not overdo it, bro. <laughs> Sorry, <Yeah>. bro. <laughs> No, um, I just had to check your privilege real quick, bro. Uh, <laughs> just, just so amped. No, um, so oh I, lo I lost a year because I went to Morgan State for two years and then I transferred to Howard. Oh, Justin went to Morgan State too for a year. Yeah, so I, I lost a year, right? Okay. So when I got to Howard, I was older than uh, some of the people in my dorm. Okay. So. Um, Used to get them liquor. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what? Or was he just cut to the chase? Cut to the chase. Because he didn't know how to say it. He's like, I was older, right? Because oh, I'm trying to make sure. Yeah. I, you can no. pinpoint the exact moment low, like, uh, that's the story. <laughs> so I'm, trying to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember, like, the age. You're like, all right, whatever. All the details. He so, was like, nah, nah. So, so like, you bought some kids some liquor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, so like, it was these Alicia. girls. It was these girls. They was always sending me to the liquor store. Uh, and they would drink Grey Goose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and guess what I would come back with? Mike's Our Lemonade? <laughs> Arbor Mist. Arbor Mist? What is Arbor that? <laughs> Arbor Mist is like a wine. It's were like a wine. You were taking their money? No, well, like I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, no, I was I was, buying it with, like I was buying their, their just, stuff with their money and I would come back drinking and I'd bring it back a bottle so of Arbor Mist. That's what you were drinking? <laughs> <laughs> drinking? <laughs> no, I'd buy their liquor with wow. their money and I would buy that with mine. I feel like Arbor Mist. Oh, uh, put Wild Irish Rose. <laughs> that has to die too. Just the what? The wild course. Irish Rose. Oh, wild Irish Rose. Oh, it's like some what some gas station North oh. Carolina wine. Whoa, Ooh. what? It's oh my that. Gosh. My daddy used to drink that. So oh, I started yeah, drinking wild it. Wild Irish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> yeah, you gotta be a real '80s baby to remember a wild Irish. Rose. They're still in gas or stations drunk. in North Carolina. Ugh. My dad used to get drunk, Ugh. so I used to buy them too. Oh, the, speaking of wild Irish rose, remember another old school liquor? Just came from the corner store. You 40s? know what I'm looking for? Saint Ives, no? Oh, they don't. Saint Ives. Oh, <laughs> what? Saint you don't remember Ives? Saint Ives? Uh uh-uh. uh. They had like I the malt liquor like for the years. I think yeah, might be too young for that. Saint Ives. Saint Ives. Saint Ives. Saint Ives. I've been, I've been Saint Ives Nate Dog commercial. <laughs> like that. Yeah, St. Ives Nate. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, this yeah. before. You, you've seen it before. Woo, man, when's the last time you drank a 40? Yeah, I grew up, in, I grew up with like a... Yeah. I've never... I've never I, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. No, no, no. We're not, we're not doing that. Y'all are, yo, y'all are so mad. I'm not drinking... In a paper bag? Come on. Like, yo, just for old Stereotypes. Yeah. Yes, let's fulfill them today. On Say Less with Cas, Law, and Rosie. No, I'm not drinking a 40 out of a paper bag. I'll bring a 40. I'll bring I'll bring one too. And old English is. Yo, old English... I like Odie. A cold, a super cold OE. I mean, I clearly wouldn't do that no more because I don't think my body could take it, but you know. That's not the worst thing you put. It does, that's not the worst thing I put in my body. But like, I don't, you know, I don't look back at it and get like nauseous. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, I look at. <laughs> don't edit that. Keep that in there. It's a joke. All he said was the vaccine. Oh, stop it. So we're not going to do that. Uh, type in the uh, state odds. Uh, type in vaccine. Dog. Type in <laughs> what? Type in vaccine. <laughs> that's something I'm never drinking. That's, that's something we gotta leave behind. <laughs> I encourage all y'all to get vaccinated. I'm joking. God, God, I'm joking. I go say do what y'all want. Back. I'm joking. Yeah, go. do what you want, but yes. I'm, definitely I'm definitely joking. Yes. Premium liquor. The classic right here. Put the volume up. I, I will I will be cautious. You know what I'm looking for. Why do you why know, do you know, like, why do you know this? Yeah. No, come on, see how do you know this? This? Mm. this is effective marketing. Come on, look at Snoop. Are you kidding me? That is the most effective marketing. When did this even Dude. come out? Guys, this got to be one like 94, 95? Probably when oh, I was born. Man. 95, you know, I was watching. 94. I was, 94. I was, I was born watching 94. the Bulls and, and Ninja Turtles. I was <laughs> watching St. Ives commercials. Yeah, that's one person I wish I still was. <laughs> You know what? What was also cool. Cool. Speaking of old the school, 90s? yeah, there you go. Bougies, right. yeah. Bougies. Speaking of old Speaking school, of 1994. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Strumming me. I'm not gonna sing it because you know. I was about right. to wait for the one time, one time. <laughs> no. I was like strumming my pain. With oh, that's what you were singing? <laughs> God, <laughs> you butchered that. I butcher everything. Oh my Jesus! One time. <laughs> Uh, Boy, it sounded like she was Fugees. scratching on the chalkboard. The Fugees are going back on tour to celebrate the 25 year anniversary of the score. Classic, classic album. And I know what you're thinking is Lauren Hill going to be on time? She the was for this one. Is, they weren't. She was not on time. Oh, no. It started at, no, they weren't, not she. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It started at well, six. I think they had an opener and they ain't going to like 10. They said it, well, people, uh, shout out to, uh, I want to say uh, Alvin Blanco, Aqua Boogie. Aqua. Uh, got Beans from Hip Hop Wired. Uh, a couple of other folks went there. I think uh, my guy Rob Markman went there. Um, Keith Nelson. Oh, no. Nah, they just announced. A bunch of folks. Uh, apparently, it was a three hour wait for a 30 minute show. Oh. Sorry. Are you waiting three hours for a thirty minute show? No, I'm not. No, no. I'm not waiting thirty minutes for Depends thirty minutes. Bro, I'm not. I'm not waiting. I'm showing I'm not, up when spoiled? it comes on. I'm not waiting thirty minutes for you. Is that all? I'm out. I waited thirty minutes today I'll wait for y'all. Three hours for a thirty minute show. You was here that we, long? We started. Well, yeah. we started at three. Yeah. We should have said something. It's two fifteen, buddy. Why didn't you say nothing in the chat? Because I. And you was here. What I was gonna do? Rush you? Go get you? Like no? no just say you was here. Anywho, is there anybody out there that you wait three hours? No. Burner Boy. There's a Burner Boy. <laughs> you said that with no hesitation. Like Burner Boy. Burner Boy. Absolutely. Which, by the way, I'm going to a Governor's Ball tomorrow because he's there. Oh, right. Governor's Ball is this oh, weekend. I forgot. No, nah, there's some people I wait three hours to see. Three hours? Yes. What are you, what are you, what are you going to do, do in that waiting. three hour span? Like, Unless, like, you're not doing that in Gen Pop. I will. I will. I, I mean, exactly. I will, <laughs> you're not doing thumb. that in Gen Pop. Let me think. Who would, who would I wait three hours to watch for 30? I'm not waiting. No. For 30 minutes? Because I didn't see everybody I wanted to see already. Nah, like, there's people out there that I still haven't seen. I really Ken- want to see like I'm not like, waiting three Ken- hours for Kendrick. I'm not waiting three hours for Drake. Oof, I'm not waiting Kendrick. three hours for Hov. Not waiting so three hours Ken- for Beyonce. Yeah. I wait for I wait thirty. I wait, I'd I'm, wait three hours for Michael. I wait three hours for Stevie Jackson? Wonder. 
Michael Jackson. I'll wait three hours. I'd wait three hours. Well, he's not alive. He could have been waiting a mighty long time. Well, that, that's, that's a revelation. I had no idea he wasn't. I'm saying, yeah, uh, clearly. Wait, 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 wait. So I'd wait three hours to see someone. No, right, nobody. Dead. Nobody. I, 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 say, nobody. Nobody. I would, nobody. Wait, I would wait three hours for Hove. Uh, nah, it bro. depends. It depends what type you're of show. Tell, you're telling me, like, or I'm performing at the point, in three hours. I'm at the point where it's got to be a specific type of whole show for me to wait. If you say we get to Radio City Music Hall, right? Eight o'clock, and they say, and there's no openers. They got like just a, a no. DJ playing music for mm. three hours straight. Yeah, it's like the yeah. club. Mingle. Until you have the club. Yeah, go mingle. Yeah. We'll talk to people. For three I'll be hours. in the two step until Burna come on. If well, Hove is burnt. like, yo. by the time <laughs> by the time Hove gets on that stage, I'm either gonna be exhausted or drunk. Well, or both, and I'll just, I'll just and now I can't enjoy the show bro. because now I'm just like too drunk. Like yeah. too drunk. I've been at a show too drunk before. Yeah, that's like, not I, fun, bro. I wanted to see this. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, but and then your videos don't even do exactly. justice because they're yeah, all crazy. Because they're all just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> is there any rock bands? <laughs> 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 is, nah. is there any is there any bands out there that you would see? Like Red people, Hot Chili like think of people like you've never yeah, like, okay. seen. Red Hot Chili Peppers to wait three hours or something. Sublime. To wait three hours? Yeah, Sublime? I like Sublime. That is a, All that right. is a contrast. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, you know what? You know how I'd watch? I'm, I'm not. I'd wait three hours to watch. I wouldn't wait three hours for Sublime. I would. For I, I'd wait three hours to watch Limp Bizkit. Happily. Ooh. Happily. Mm, My early two thousands. I'm sorry. Oof, yeah, I just can't. Do I did it. it all for the Nookie break stuff and together now. No, not you. Three hours for those songs. Wait three hours for it. I'm not waiting three hours song. for Limp Bizkit. Not, yeah, I'm not, no. I'd wait three hours for... I'd go with you in like the first hour and be like, all right, Cass, out. I want to go to... I haven't been to like a rock show since like Made in America. And right? That's not a rock show. That's not a rock show. It festival. is, but like <laughs> Nine Inch Nails was closing and I'm like, I'm watching that. That's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Like they're, they'll, they'll have like a bunch of hip hop dudes and like I think the Sunday show when like, you know, more people are leaving... Mm -hmm. They're always throwing like the classic rock act or something like that. Or like the person that Hove just really likes. What is, okay, how about this? I got I got an even better question. Mm -hmm. Now who would you wait to see for 30 minutes, right? Who Three would hours. you wait to watch your favorite song perform? Like one song. Ooh, Mark your Morrison, Return of the Mac? I'm, like uh, one song, like live. How long would I wait? How long would you wait to watch that one song? I'm live? sorry, I'm just I just can't fathom I can't fathom me sitting or standing or trying to like. But what would be worth it? What one nothing, song? Nothing, nothing, I don't think I'd wait nothing. I'd wait to watch like Usher. Three hours? It's Usher, bro. It's Usher, man. Yeah. I'm, don't, I'm, yeah don't Usher, know. bro. You kidding I me? I don't know, man. Usher? Nah, I'm not waiting three hours. I'm talking about you know you, you know, know what I wait three you know hours how, for? You know, you know how I wait three hours for? Because they're not even making music anymore. They retired after two albums, which I hated. Uh, fun, fun. Okay, I like fun. Their album, nah, Jazz took me to at, that. They were at uh, they were at Terminal Five. America. No, Terminal Five. Right, 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 Jazz right, right. took me that. You know, rest in peace, my uh, best friend Jazz. Shout out Jazz. She took me to see them at Terminal Five, and that was. I like, bet they were a great show. Crazy. Was there too. And because they're not making any more albums, I'd wait three hours to see them. That's right, so the what's band. the best non-rap show you've ever seen? Was I that the best? Said, yeah, yeah, wait, was that yeah, like, yeah, fun. Like, fun like we are young, fun. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, okay. That's a because um, band. because what you call one of Kanye's producers uh, produced with them. Um, mm. Uh, Jeff Bass, I think it's Jeff Bass. Jeff Basker. Yes, yeah, Jeff Basker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bro. Yeah, so okay. if y'all don't know who no fun is, Damn. they got an album called Some Nights. Uh, Janine, yes. when they was on their first single, Tonight. bro, so fire. I'd wait three hours to watch them. We are young. That's that's, that's the call. that's the non-rap non show I would go. What about you? Non-rap chili peppers. That you I've said? Been to? Yeah. Oh, that's the one I would no, wait be for. Best best non-rap show you've ever been to? I've never been to Chili Peppers. I would love to. Um, uh. That I've ever been to. It, it's probably some Spanish shit like Aventura. Yeah, go ahead. Who, who was it? They were good. Aventura was really good. Like, Suavemente. I'm I think Bruno Mars is mine. Oh, my God. I would love Woo! to see Bruno oh, Mars. Oh, wait. Bruno Mars? i never seen Bruno Mars. The Weeknd was Bruh. <sighs> Bruh. That dude is like 4'11". Yeah, he is. <laughs> he is? And he yes, is. He's man short. And when he's on yeah. that stage, he might as well be 7'12". <laughs> wow. That dude is the truth. Dude is short. The truth. Like nonstop, incredible show. The oh, weekend was good. Weekend was good. Which weekend did you see live? Uh, which era weekend? Which era weekend? I want to say I Rolling saw Stone. Like, I had a joke like, for trilogy. that. Trilogy, I had, trilogy, I had trilogy a, weekend. I had a joke. Which that? weekend did you see live? Was it? Last week. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> uh, damn, this is there's a couple of non rap acts that I, I I've seen live that are awesome. I think I'll put Nine Inch Nails up there. Uh, Foo Fighters. Who you saw live? Oh, kidding me? Yeah, kidding me? Nine Inch Nails. Learn to fly. Learn to fly. Be my way. Panic at the Disco. No. Weezer. Weezer. I'd watch Weezer. I haven't seen him live, but you I'll, know I want to see live. Um, Childish. Childish Gambino? He's great. Great yeah. live. Great. Thanks, guys. Uh, for, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I would love to go. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. I see it on the um, it in. I've, I've seen, I saw him twice. I saw him once uh, when camp came Can, out. No, this keep is, going, guys. I was working at the source at the time. and he, well, I'll, Rub it in more. I've seen, I've seen this him twice, before. actually. Uh, no, so I mean, let me tell you about both times. I've seen, no, 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 I've no, no, seen no, no, no. him. The first, we get it, Cass. Okay. The first, right. the first Gambino connected. show was very. I'm trying to give the listeners an experience, okay? I'm trying to say the first Gambino show was very different from the second Gambino show. The first Gambino show when camp came out he was still on community he still had fresh face still doing stand-up comedy like he was still like oh Very my awkward. god he rap whatever and then when i saw him when uh what you call it came out with um red red bone. Bone. Yeah. Right. i wanted like my love yeah i wanted awesome. to go i love i love that though like i love catching folks like in the beginning like the weekend like the weekend's a guy i saw super early and his live show was just like oh this is Ooh, we get it. It's mysterious. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh we get it. Yeah, yeah and then you see about the Super Bowl, right. and you're like, God damn, <laughs> that's <right>. the show. <laughs> we get it, Cass. We get it, Cass. Is there anybody that you... As, as, anybody you haven't as, seen, As an guys? athlete, I've seen every artist perform. We get it, Court buddy. Side. Court Prince. side. Front, Front row. row. Backstage. Ooh, VIP. Passes. I don't have Green to room. wait. I'm Kaz. I'm Kaz. I you threw Drake's first Kaz? show at my college. I did. <laughs> I actually did. <laughs> I do remember seeing J. Cole at SOBs way back when, and then... See him at the uh, the other tour when he came out with the the. Well, I hosted I hosted uh, Kendrick show at SOBs, one of his first shows in New York City. Kendrick? You did, you did. I saw yeah. my Santos. There's a J Cole interview on Santos. your YouTube. There? Santos? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it was SOBs. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot of like hidden yeah. gems on that YouTube page. Yeah. Just there's a uh, what the fuck video hey. on your YouTube? Oh, fuck. sorry. With that video with the little Wayne performance. Oh gosh. Oh, so that's the episode. That's the that's the performance when Wayne first got out of jail in Vegas. I think you were there with me. <laughs> no, I wasn't. You weren't. Speaking of <laughs> Wayne, just got out of jail. It was the last stop of Drake's Speaking first Speaking of just tour. getting out of jail, nah, yeah, I wasn't. No, Wayne. I, I yeah. definitely would remember that. I remember when Chris Brown came out of jail. He made loyal video. He was all chubby. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yo, chubby Chris was dope though. <laughs> His movies were all delayed. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Chris. Oh uh, man, chubby Chris. <laughs> Chubby, Chubby Chris, Chris was, was a funny. moment. <laughs> it was a moment. Because you could tell. That man was eating good in prison. You could <laughs> like tell the prison was taking care of him. That man was eating him. good in prison. That man was they had money on his books they all was day. <laughs> the money on his dancing books was there. lovely. That was so funny because it was like a double joke back then. Like, look at Chris, man. <laughs> People were like, oh, he's going to have to dance that weight off. And he sure did. <laughs> oh, the motion of the birds. You ain't nothing <laughs> but a bullet. Ah, ah, well, he don't look. No, he don't look he that chubby. Yeah, he I don't mean, look that chubby. Was, no, was no, it, he doesn't. Which, which, which video? Because right, he I don't, don't look chubby here at all. Just type in chubby Chris Brown. <laughs> 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 he looked mad skinny in that video. No, that was a It'll pop right up. <laughs> yeah, he was trying to do the. <laughs> He's trying to dance all hard and like, you know. Where I'm is he chubby? To, I'm not going to body shame nobody. You clearly are. But. I just. But. I remember Chubby Chris was giving us some bangers, bro. Like, was, is that the Chubby? Is. is that the right there? You, you feel like you have more soul? I just remember the video. I think this 35 was 35-pound prison it. weight gain. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't prison know. weight gain, right? Yeah. Because he, he was dancing somewhere, and everybody was like, why is he moving so slow? He's like, damn, bro. He's been out of it. Listen, that dancer wind. Is, well, now he ain't Chubby. So, so uh, streets are saying, not streets are saying. You see him When I say streets, what's up? I'm on Shumpert. I'm dancing Yo. with the stars. My Shumpert. Might win Dancing with the Stars, bro. Smoke okay. that joint, bro. Okay. You smoked it. Smoked <laughs> it. Like, I don't know how we got here. <laughs> no, it, was all, it was random. Time. I can't dance it. Oh, that was like a random ass I can't like, just give the man his props. I mean, you know, he did. I, I, no, I just don't, I don't watch he it. He came out to dance to Hey Ya to the 20, I think it was the 25th anniversary of, of, of the uh, Speaker Box Love Below this week, too. Hmm. So I was like, okay, I see you. That's a, that's a, that's, that's, that's somebody I'll wait for three hours to watch. Ooh. Iman Shumpert? Outcast. Oh, yes. Oh, Outcast. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Clearly, I knew what you were talking about. I just laid the joke up, bro. I knew you were talking about Outcast, bro. <laughs> no, but uh, shout out shout out Iman Shumpert. He got them life feet going. I think he's going to be the favorite for Dancing with the Stars. I don't watch Dancing with the Stars a lot, but there's a lot of people in it this season. I was like, oh, I'd watch that. Like, The Miz is in there. Shout out to The Miz, my guy. Shumpert here. Outfit. 
you know, right, outcasting. Dope. Um, let's wrap this up soon. Um, Eddie, can we see the topics real quick? I know we gotta we gotta head out here. We're, we're already over time. Yeah, but we um, we only had over an hour today. Man, let's uh, let's end this on. We only have for an hour. The no, stupidest social media oh, okay. oh. conversation of the week. <laughs> I'm not no. Don't no. We can no end <laughs> this right now. No, 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 it's not. Uh, it's media not a, Oh yeah, we can do that. The yeah. stupidest yeah. social media. That that, that can be that can be a category. Yeah. I like that. We can end every episode with the stupidest thing we saw on social media this yeah. week. I'm the holding stupidest you to thing that. we saw, and I, and I guess Drake did himself no favors because in this uh and uh you only live twice. He says something along the lines of like, I really am Michael Jackson. The man in the mirror is something, 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 something. And that gave everybody saying, especially after, you know, his billboard week. It was saying like, yeah, I don't know everybody, but some Twitter page. I don't know who this Twitter page was. They're basically like. What do you know? No, I'm kidding. Wow. <laughs> he, he always does that when he's referring to somebody. I don't know. I don't know, but somebody said it. I don't know who it was, was, but I think they said. The I, think, uh, was, I, I don't know. I don't know. Long story short was, I don't know. Yeah, we make cats. <laughs> what do you know, cats? Long story short is, he doesn't know. The question, the question <laughs> was asked, was Drake at his peak ever bigger than And I know I know what page you're talking about. I just want to see if you remember. It's rap, I, I think it was Rap Fest TV. Yeah, some stupid page. rap page pops up every yeah, week. Yeah. Rap Fest TV. That wasn't in these block streets back in the day. Y'all get my respect. Wow. <laughs> I, don't even, wow. I don't even remember y'all names. Wow. <laughs> Damn it. Well then. It's facts. Well man. then, sir. Anyway, um, silly ass question. But <laughs> man, are we that removed from Michael Jackson that people really feel? Who's, who's we? I mean, just people in general, like the but general you gotta public. Think of these, I, 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 I hate that I'm actually entertaining this conversation. Just, but just for a leave, that's just all. The humor, just humor. <laughs> I'll entertain you for a minute. Mm-hmm. You got to think about the people who are having these conversations, like a Raf TV, whoever that is. I know they're not over the age of 25 to 30, yeah, right? No way. So they, they, no one, exp- anyone who's entertaining this conversation, like legitimately, yeah. has not known or seen the impact of what Michael Jackson has done numbers-wise, right. concert influence international mm. the stamp that michael jackson has put on the world in regards to just music or just him being a celebrity right i'm not saying drake won't have some kind of impact uh, impact or influence he already has his impact. i mean all right i'm not saying it won't grow right i'm not saying it won't be you know enormous but to me and the people that have seen michael jackson People have what what we've seen him do with music right. and albums and how the curation of albums, the people who've helped him create these albums. I don't see a a, a tangible team, Michael and and Quincy. Right. I don't well, see you know what you know what this this debate. This is not really even debate. This is the, the, or this this thing this really, conversation. This conversation really led me to believe That's it's not it. fun to be famous anymore. It was way more dope being famous back in the eighties and nineties. Wait, why? Why, where do, because wait, why like, do you why do you land on that? So I'm looking at I'm I'm taking everything into account because like obviously it's a silly question, but somebody had to ask it for a reason. So I started thinking about it. I'm like, okay, Drake is probably the most famous pop star out right now, yeah, right? Of course, that's give un- or take, yeah, maybe if, if you doesn't if, dance. If you throw your Beyonces here, your Rihanna's here, whatever. Adele, whatever, get that. Adele, whatever. I'll give you that. Really? But in yeah, general, really. when Michael Jackson was the top guy, there was Mike and there was everybody else, right? Mm-hmm. This is before social media. This is before streaming. This is before a lot of things, right? So now, as this conversation has happened, I'm on social media. I'm seeing videos of 80s Mike jumping on the stage. But this is what, but the, but this this is what I'm saying. People but, fainting. But this is, what I'm this, is, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. We saw that. We knew what that was. Mm-hmm. We understood what that was. The people who are, 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 you know, cheering for Drake or championing Drake or this, that, and the third, or who are actually entertaining this conversation and trying to, like, rebuttal, like, nah, well, this is... Yeah. No, you've never seen this man feel... Like arenas. Yeah. I'm not talking about. St- I'm, oh, it, was like, long time like, to, it was a long time since Mike was doing arena tours. He was a stadium guy for stadium. Alex. Like, bro, like <laughs> miles back of people, ambulances in the front carrying people out. Damn, they're looking like zombies dead. Somebody saw the picture under that tweet and it said, This is Michael Jackson's hotel TV. room. This is Michael Jackson with in countries that hate America. Oh, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They had him in like North Korea and like Iraq and all this stuff. And they're all just like, 
Ooh, right. Like you'll never no. get that sort of like Twitter, there's what is no t- there, what was their Twitter rap whatever? Rap Fest TV. Rap something. Rap Fest something, TV. Something. That was ignorant. Yeah. Was, so no, no. Ignorant. So Michael Jackson. <laughs> that was Drake ignorant. will never no. reach Michael Jackson's peak. Mm. Drake will never reach Michael Jackson's superstardom. Ignorant. Drake will never reach I don't think anybody no. will, but it's just now, right, times, if we're talking about the conversation or the debate, yeah. Drake will never come close to to what Michael Jackson is, what he's achieved, or what he will be. Michael Jackson is just, this like and on this pivotal that, figure, this oh, mythical figure. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. I think fame the is just mythical different. figure. I think fame is just different. Like if Drake walked in here right now, I'm like, oh snap, that's Drake. That's if Michael, crazy. If, I mean, granted, if he was if Michael, Jack- if, if Michael Jackson, let me let me phrase it so he doesn't get off. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson walked. In. Michael Jackson lived. Bro, a different I level of hide behind the couch. I'm like, no, there's no way you're here. <laughs> yeah, like, there's no way. You ever see let's, Drake let's, is like, hey, what's up? Yo, let's yo, end my. the show on this. Pull up that Freddie well, Gibbs also, Drake, Michael Jackson that's rap. video. Everybody, let's think about it. Like, <laughs> no, I get it, but but if they're but they're comparing it like the the, the superstar of the yeah. fame, this and the third, right I, there. It's a cartoon. It should be. Oh, like, when he's talking about uh, Gary Indiana, yeah. Indiana, yeah. Well, Michael Jackson pulled up to the studio. Shout out to Freddie Gibbs. No, uh, he was in uh, KFC. Is it KFC? Oh, you didn't see that story? Nah, I saw one where he pulled up to a studio. No, and both, like, no, 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 no. Do the KFC one. He's like, all the gangsters. Yeah, this is do it the right ca- Do the KFC one. Yeah, Which one am I doing? Jump to the middle if you can. Like, jump right to the... Yeah, this, this is it, this is it. <laughs> this is nah, go back, go back, go back. This go back. is classic internet right here, bro. All right, play from here. Talk over a little bit, just in case. <laughs> nah, so he's just describing when Michael came to Gary, Indiana... And went to KFC and he said that he ordered all the chicken. Extra crispy, motherfucking uh, original, all that shit. Man, niggas was honking the horn behind him and shit. They're like, yeah, Mike, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And then ran out of chicken. That nigga bought all the chicken for the people, my nigga. When he pulled up to the baseball stadium, he started throwing the chicken out the like, What the fuck? <laughs> Passing out chicken. Like, <laughs> you see the motherfucking and their shiny gloves. Like, oh, they try to get autographs and shit. It's Man, different. You know, standing on top of cars. Being a genius. So yeah, gangsters crying. It was crazy. It was grown niggas out there fainting and shit. Like, gangsta ass niggas out there. My God. Crying and shit. Kids in the eyes. Like Mike. You know, everybody love Mike. That's what I'm saying, bro. Everybody like, Mike, bro. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure girls cry with Drake, but like, chicken, <laughs> not no, not no crib. Yeah, no one's fainting, no one's crying, and Drake is damn sure not throwing Kentucky Fried Chicken outside. <laughs> maybe <laughs> he should. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's why. Maybe that's why you're not gonna be Mike. Go to KFC, hold a Popeyes Drake, and start throwing <laughs> stuff out your window. When chicken hot, you should have bought them all. Go to left. Gave him out the street. Nah, but like, and this is no yeah. detriment. This is no detriment to Drake's career, his legacy, because we know how great he is. We know. He's a superstar. We know he's a streaming guy. We know he puts out great music. We understand that. CLB grew on me, bro, like a fungus. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, re- regardless of what we think, we know Drake. Is, we know Drake is a great artist. We we know we all know that. But to Michael Jackson's shut up, bro. <laughs> If you wore better sneakers, you wouldn't be singing right now. (laughs) He can't hurt me with his lies. (laughs) (laughs) No, but we we understand who Drake is, but Michael Jackson is just a top, this is another another thing that'll never. All right, so make sure everybody who's talking about that, please shut the hell up. Yeah. Um, that was a silly conversation. Uh, let's wrap up. That the you show. made us have. Yeah, but you know what? It's nice to it's nice to end the show on the same notes and all of us agreeing that it was silly. That makes sense. Um, Rosie, what's yep. up, man? What you up to? What you up to this uh, week? Go to watch Burner Boy next week. Tomorrow, really? Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. At, go- at Governor's Ball. Yeah. Please contain yourself. Okay, I won't. Please. <laughs> don't, I won't. Don't do nothing. Uh, I most will. People, uh, okay. okay. All right. Please come back with a story. That'd be I'm, hilarious. I'm excited. Lo, what you into this week? Um, hosting an after party for. Uh, no. <laughs> Why did you tell me? Hosting an after party at Shemansky on Friday. Okay. Uh, Blacks, uh, the guy he was on a uh, Nas's album. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, yeah. yeah he's. I think he's. He's a tour coming to the city. What's up? Um, so me and Baby Ann. Um, Shout out, Baby Ann. Hosting an after party for him at Shemansky Friday night. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Flyer should be up pretty soon. So. If you follow me, you follow the squad, you'll see it retweeted or Instagram. So if you're in Brooklyn, you know, pull up on me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, <laughs> might throw some chicken at you. No one's ever <laughs> in, just in Brooklyn. 
We're gonna just. I would go for that. I'm for the people who are in Brooklyn. <laughs> I would yeah. go just for you. <laughs> Jake, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Ed, you good? Uh, two six five Canal Street. You already know. Yeah, you already know. No, uh, no stumbling this week. No, not this week. Not this week. No, not this weekend. I still got to come pull up. On I'm me. relaxing this weekend. Once, once my life is back in order, I promise you. Actually, I'm sorry. Well, Actually, uh, by this case, it's Monday, right? So yes. Oh, now. boom! Yeah, you better get your oh, plug, plug them way away. No, what? What are those? Check out wayaway.com. We just launched a website. Way of Wade. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Shout out D Wade, way 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 friend of the program. Yeah, check us out. That's right. Ski. Uh, yeah. Didn't mean to put up the Nike there at the, the second. My leg just hurt. It's all good. It's all good. We're sending you on sneakers. Why did you do that? Appreciate that. Cause my leg hurts, bro. I'm ready to go. He was uncomfortable. All right, man. You know what it is. This is Say Less with Kaz, Loki, Rosie. Uh, appreciate everybody uh, subscribing. Make sure you subscribe on Snapchat, youtube.com slash Kazim. Um, everywhere you stream podcasts, Apple, Spotify, Amazon, SoundCloud, wherever you listen to it, just type in Say Less with Kaz, Loki, and Rosie, and you will see this show. Um, shout out to the Discord. Shout out to everybody continuing to support the show. Um that's all I got to say this week. Ooh. I have something. I have something to say very soon, but this week we'll just leave it at this. It's so like we do it at this time every time. Stay free, stay safe, and always say less. Bang, 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 bang. That's <laughs> right. You catch me on MSGPM <laughs> throughout the week. Uh, catch me with uh, Xavier Woods hosting on hashtag Sports catch for the Esports Conference. Catch me on the Mass Man Show, and I think that is all. Catch you next week, people. Peace out. Peace. Catch me outside.